Sir, may I be permitted to mention a matter? Contempt application, my lord. What you want? Uh, after getting orders from this honorable... No, no, court, what you want? The contempt contempt application. application. For what are you mentioning? Inclusion. Inclusion. Sorry, madam. Today is not the date. At the risk of the same answer, but I only remind your lordship that item number 127, your lordship was pleased to grant me leave. The demarcation is on part 9. Demolition of the six. If you lost it once, I can come again, my lord. But if you lost no, it. please don't come. Kindly remember, my lord. Yes. Lord, one one indulgence, my lord. I am seeking, my lord. Item number thirty, my lord. Your lordship directed the personal appearance of my lord. I see Shabok. Item number thirty. So, my lord, he has present. Let his personal appearance be dispensed with, my lord. Why personal appearance has been uh, sought for definitely for some reason? Because, my lord, the Pradhan didn't respond to your lordship's, my lord, queries. That's why yeah. your lordship directed the Pradhan to appear. Pradhan didn't appear, they are, then your lordship lord, directed... I the police shopping. to bring him here, yes. the police also did not bring him. Lordship. Why will he be left like this? And what was his the, the reason for uh, not bringing the Pradhan to court? So due to inadvertence, my lord, he... Inadvertence? Lordship. Then he is to be punished. Lord, uh, let his uh, personal appearance maybe. Let him file an affidavit. Lord Chief, Lord. Lord. Let him stay, let him file yeah. an affidavit. The matter will be taken up, then an order will be passed. Yes, Lord Chief, may I pardon? Uh, for listing one application, my Lord, I have filed yesterday, my Lord. It's extremely urgent, my Lord. It is to be open on the day of Eid, my Lord. Uh, on the grave yard, uh, mosque is uh, preparing, my Lord. Unauthorized, my lord. Extremely unauthorized, my lord. So, kind of, my lord, enlist this matter before uh, Eid, my lord. You have filed it in the department? Yes, my lord. Yes, what do you want? Enlistment? Enlist. Urgent enlistment? Unlimited. Why? My lord, it is to be opened on the What day is of to be opened? Eid. What is to be opened? M mosque. Mosque is uh, going, uh, construction is going, going on, my lord. Mosque construction is going on? Uh, unauthorized. Unauthorizedly? And it is going to be opened on the Eid. Eid. So before uh, Eid, Eid is next week. So soon the construction will be over. My lord, it is to be going on, my lord. It is going on. It so how can it be opened? I have uh, also filed, my lord, uh, before the magistrate, my lord, uh, uh, ordered, my lord, so kindly list the matter before it. What has Eid got to do with this? Put opening on. Opening, my lord. Opening the Eid. Open. It is to be open for. That means the construction is complete. Not not yet completed. Uh, uh, complete not yet, uh, fully complete, my lord. If it is not fully complete, how can it be opened? My lord, the date of Eid, my lord. So you kindly hear the matter before Eid. No, sorry. Yes, lord, she may, have... may I be permitted to mention, my lord, item number two six three four of monthly list of April. My lord, the urgency is that the petitioner belonging to the OBC category, her caste certificate was illegally cancelled without giving her opportunities. Subsequently, one notice for removal from the membership has been subsequently issued, and uh, that membership uh, of what? Membership of uh, uh, membership of panchayat, my lord. Yes. And uh, subsequently, one notice for uh, hearing has been issued, calling upon the petitioner to attend the hearing for the purpose of removal. My lord, my urgency is that uh, if uh, if I be removed, my this petition will remain fractious. It will not become fractious. You attend the hearing. We will see what is lordship, to be done. May I permit okay. to mention one matter, lordship? This matter is already heard by your lordship, and there is a direction that a uh, boundary wall will be construction. But uh, my lord, till date we are seeing a rampant construction is made, and not only the boundary wall, a entire building made by dissolving a pond. And the entire locality, it is out on street of such protest lordship. They have mentioned to the police. What you want, tell me. I do not want the facts. Uh, inclusion, lord. Sorry. Lord, see me. My lord, I am praying for your lordship kindly. File this read application, my lord. What happened, my lord? On 8th February. You, you want to file it? Go and file it. My lord, kindly. It is very urgent, my lord. On 8th February, my lord, a tender was floated by the panchayat, my lord. I was participated in the tender process, my lord, but... I, I am the uh, lowest bidder of the said tender, but, but, but my tender application was rejected due to technical ground. My Lord, kindly. What is the error if it is rejected? My Lord, I have made representation. My, my bid was lowest bid. 
there may be other reasons for rejecting your tender what is the error kindly hear it once one more time and has the final bid uh, the um, work order been issued <coughs> financial bid maybe issued my lord I maybe issued my sorry sir i'm not entertaining in my prayer my lord i'm praying for stay on on the work order my lord stay on the work order everything is done the work order is issued and stay on the work order and here is one for my lord did any day my lord next week monday you lord sir maybe sir notice, notice. Uh, uh, mention registration application for sorry. future in the call the list please Okay. I mean, the point in issue in this matter it is very simple. Yes. The question is whether any additional fee could be imposed by the municipal corporation while sanctioning of the building plan is granted. Building plan sanction fee is okay, no problem. Kindly turn to page twenty-three. Yes. The fees details are as follows: sanction fee is mentioned particularly, surcharge and other things which are ancillary to the sanction. Then miscellaneous charges, more than eight lakhs and something. Eight crores. Eight crores. But this miscellaneous charges cannot be imposed; is beyond the law. Now, this is a matter of construction of an old building for the accommodation of the tenants. Therefore, the entire matter was referred to the municipal building committee as per the law. Now, the municipal building committee, after having considered everything, after having considered the powers under Rule One Forty Two, granted certain relaxation. Now this would be apparent from the report filed by the municipal corporation. Malayali Kani takes up the report filed by municipal corporation. Lord, probably it's there in your lordship's file. My report. Form of. We are kindly turn to page eight, the resolution of the municipal building committee. Considering rehabilitation of tenants under Rule One Forty Two was very important. The committee suggested that the applicant has to comply the required mandatory open spaces as per Rule Sixty Two of the KMC Building Rules. Minimum required so and so so and so. Concerned architect agreed, and accordingly the drawing has been corrected. The committee recommends the proposal. However, the same request to be considered by the appropriate authority of KMC. Applicant has to obtain revised F FSR before commencement. Area has to be checked before demand. An undertaking have to be submitted by the applicant mentioning that no portion allotted to any tenant can be transferred by means of sale or gift within five years from the date of insurance issuance of the completion certificate, and the same should be affixed at the back side of the sanction plan. The proposal is recommended for sanction, subject to compliance of the above order. Now this was placed before the municipal commissioner, and the commun MIC had also resolved. Kindly can't turn to page nine. This resolution of MIC was taken in twenty ninth of May, which is beyond this mandatory period of thirty days. That point I shall take later. But here, Lord, you will find the proposal for sanction of G plus one story assembly building. Of height thirty eight point four seven five meter. Is it one story or eleven story? Eleven, eleven, eleven. Story. That's why MBC. Once the MBC doesn't consider that the proposed front open space five meter instead of required six meter. Proposed side one space five meter instead of required six point five zero meter. Proposed side two open space so and so instead of required nine meter as detailed in the agenda time is taken up for consideration and is approved. The applicant has to pay necessary fees and charges as per the KMC schedule of rates. Then the applicant has to pay additional fees and charges. This is completely beyond the authority under the law. Now this relaxation was granted under Rule One Forty Two. Malik just takes up Miller Rule One Forty Two. And Miller, before that, it's my duty to point out page ten also.
as per the MIC agenda item number so and so, the calculation of fees and charges is given. And fees for open space violation, 8 crore. Therefore, this is allegedly for open space violation, which was approved by the NBC in the exercise of Rule 142 and then accorded by the MIC as per the law. Therefore, this cannot be said to be a violation. That was one of the conditions of sanctioning of the plan. This 8 crore for alleged open space violation, how could they impose when there has been no construction yet? The violation, if at all, would be imposed under Section 401. One empowerment of the authority. My lord, you kindly turn takes up the boyachi. Yes, as well, got it. Yes, where the erection of any building or the execution of any work has been commenced. Or is being carried on or has been completed without or contrary to the sanction referred to in section 396 or in contravention of any of the provisions of this act or the rules and the regulations made thereunder, the municipal commissioner may, in addition to any other action that may be taken under this act, make an order directing that such election or work shall be demolished by the person at whose instance the election or the work has been commenced or is being carried on or has been completed within such period, not being so and so. Therefore, these are all post-construction. Mm -hmm. Section 400 prescribes the steps to be taken, if anything, which is post-construction, mm -hmm. post-sanctioning of the building plan. How could you impose the huge amount of fees when the sanction has not yet been accorded in terms of the MBC rule? This could have been resorted to only after you found that I have violated the sanction plan and went on construction. This exercise of power is absolutely without jurisdiction beyond the law. Now, kindly now take up my Lord, the municipal building rules. This is important because that they will say that you have been given sanction in violation of certain building rules, but that is empowerment under the law. One forty-two. One forty-two. One. Yes. The latest rule. One forty-two. Okay. Old and insecure building. This is an admitted position. This is an old building seeking reconstruction and to accommodate the tenants. Now, the following relaxations of these rules will be available for construction of building in place and state of existing buildings after demolition thereof. Now, what are the relaxations available, Millard? That is mentioned. And it comes within that. Then where the important part of his Millard, 142.4. All applications for relaxation of building rules made under this rule have to be approved by the Municipal Building Committee. Therefore, the Municipal Building Committee, being an expert body, had approved these relaxations. And after the approval of relaxations, they have directed that building plan may be sanctioned. So at this stage, the question of exercising of power under Section 400 would be absolutely redundant and beyond the scope of the statute. I have not yet started construction. You sanction the building plan as per the MCC recomm NBC's recommendation. If thereafter anything is found in violation, then only the question of section 400 would arise not before that. Well, we have also filed our ex exception to the report. Uh, please show me ah, the... where is the provision for relaxation of the mandatory... Uh... That, is, well, that is this bad rules. I am replacing well, side the, open spaces. Yes, they, those are mandatory. Yes, required to those, be. Those can be relaxed under one forty two. Please show me yes. where is that provision. The following relaxations of these rules will be available for construction of building in place and state of existing buildings after demolition thereof. If you are additional if you are to the tune of hundred percent of the area presently occupied by the tenants will be allowed. Over and above the FIR being presently utilized in the existing structure. 
B. Height. Normally, the height of the re-erected building shall not be allowed to be more than 25.5 meters unless the applicant is otherwise so entitled. However, these restrictions on the height may be relaxed as per the Act provided for the proposal for re-erection complies with the fire laws and provided further the additional car parking space. Then kindly come to me, Lord. Two. The relaxations under sub rule 1 above will be available only when the existing building area which is to be demolished meets either of the following criteria. The building is more than so on, so I am not troubling my lot with that. Then kindly come to me, Lord. The, all applications for relaxation of building rules made under this rule have to be approved. All. All applications for relaxation of building rules are made under this rule. That means the relaxation is available only for FAR height and car parking space. Where is the provision for relaxation of the mandatory side open spaces? Mala, kindly Mala, read with me once again, sub rule 4. Yes, please. All applications for relaxation of building rules, all. Made under That's this it. rule, which means uh, these provisions. Yes. One A, B and C, that is FAR height and car parkings. Where is the provision? Again, kindly. Kindly come to me, Lord. The rule six: all other rules shall apply mute at this mute and this. And this yes. is considered by the municipal building plan committee and not been rejected by the mayor in council. This is important. Okay, once again, come to the the building committees. The resolution. Lord, if the building committee has done something beyond the provision of the act and the rules, municipal bill or the mayor in council Lord, did not reject that. Mayor in council is also approved. The judgment of this court is once municipal building comes recommendation is accepted. It becomes mandated. I shall place that judgment. Yes. But at the, the same time, if the corporation is in such penury that they will accept fees for relaxing the mandatory provisions, can the court sit tight and give no, a Lord, stamp to it? I am on that. Where, I, where is the you know, statutory empowerment that you can give me relaxation and then charge additional fees? Yes. 400 says if I violate any provisions of the sanction plan, then only you can do it. Can you take one second turn to section 400? Yes, I have seen that. 400 yes. is all right. You, you sanction the building sanction fees there. I am bound to pay that. I shall pay that. When the sanction is granted, thereafter, if any violation is made, you can definitely take recourse to 400, but not before that. That's my point. But then you uh, first you satisfy the court as to. Uh, whether the mandatory side open spaces can be relaxed and if can be it can be relaxed under which provision section uh, rule 142 well, kindly, kindly, kindly come to me that rule 62 the mandatory provisions Mr. Lord she will ask to read this rule 62 along with the requirement of additional floor area ratio these are all correlated First, kindly come to Rule 62. These are the mandatory open space required. Now, this mandatory open space plot is directly related to the FIR floor area ratio. That is Chapter 10. And if the municipal building committee plot can relax the floor area ratio, then what it... It requires also the relaxation of this mandatory space, otherwise floor ratio cannot be extended. The height can be extended. No, no, this floor area ratio will depend on the side open space also. Therefore, if the height is extended, Lord, correspondingly, I have to also Lord, consider the minimum space under Rule 62. Lord, kindly one second, please. Height of the building. Minimum open space with respect to the buildings for residential area. Well, this is essential building. This is not a commercial building. But then it has been mentioned commercial? Yes. Community. Community. Not commercial. Community. Well, this is an old building. I am rebuilding it with the undertaking that I shall accommodate all the tenants. That's why this matter went before the MBC. Whether because of that, relaxation could be granted. Now, MBC Millot has decided, yes, relaxation can be granted. And they have approved it. This plan, which I have placed before them, they have approved it. Under the law, it has to go to the MIC. MIC has considered and says approved. Then suddenly, how far, how could you exercise power under Section 400 when the start, uh, building has not yet started construction? 
38.475 meter is the height, height. of the building. Hmm. We kindly come to rule 62 height of building. Last yes. part one. 25.5 meter up to 40 meter. The front open space 6 meter. And they have allowed me 5 meter. That's the relaxation granted by the MBC for real Then the moment the mandatory side open spaces is being relaxed, you are infringing the right of your neighbor. The neighbor has the right to enjoy that space. This is exactly the reason for keeping the mandatory side open spaces. Corporation accepts the money and infringes with somebody else's right. Therefore, the corporation will accept the money not for the purpose of not securing that I will allow the neighbors to suffer. Here, corporation is doing for a better public cause. But this is a social welfare idea that if you rebuild it, then the tenants, you cannot evict them. Under the premises tenants act, if the premises is not there, the, there is the tenants go. So to ensure the protection of the tenants is a part of the social welfare measure, you have granted relaxation. And rule 142 says normally the height of the re-elected building uh, shall not be allowed more than 15.5 yes. meter unless the applicant is otherwise so entitled. Therefore, right. this relaxation, that's why this, it goes before the MBC, which is an expert body, including our fire services, water services, police security, everything. MBC is going below. If you kindly see about the composition of MBC, my lord will take up the report of the MBC. <laughs> My Lord kindly takes up the section 391. One, MBC. The committee shall have, in addition to the chairman and convener, together other members, whom one shall be a nominee of Kolkata Metropolitan Development Authority. One is nominee of the Commission of the Police. One is the director of West Bengal Fire Services. One is a nominee of the state government. One shall be the chief engineer, municipal engineering directorate. This is the government of Spring Hall. One shall be an architect of repute to be selected in consultation with the Council of Architecture. One shall be a town planner. One shall be a nominee of the Department of Environment, Government of Spring Hall. Now, this high power committee was, was conceptualized to ensure that the city development is not otherwise not is thrown away. And Rule 38 says the functions of the Municipal Building Committee. I'll be kind enough to come to me not Rule 38 once again. The function of the committee. The committee shall, in accordance with the provisions of subsection 5 of section 391, Scrutinize every application for erection or re erection of a building for which notice has been received under section 393 or C94, except for a residential building to be erected or re erected on a plot of 500 square meter or less, this small buildings. In case of any building which is intended to be erected at the corner of two streets, the committee shall, in accordance with the provisions of subsection 1 of section 405, scrutinize every such plan and shall forward its recommendation to the mayor in council. The committee shall consider and recommend on any other matter included in chapter 22 of the act. The municipal commissioner, sorry, the municipal commissioner shall, as soon as possible, communicate to the committee for its information the decision of the mayor in council of any of the committee's recommendations. The aesthetic quality of urban and environmental designs of structures with respect to every application being scrutinized by it shall be considered by the committee as contained in Rule 14 before making its recommendation to the mayor in council. Then it is recommendations to the mayor in council. And then building permit is issued. Mayor in council accepts. Therefore, once mayor, MBC has considered duly relaxing, exercising power of under Rule 142, you know, the municipal commissioner cannot, I mean, the municipality cannot impose any other fees. They can impose. If they find 
that while constructing, I am violating the plan sanction. Therefore, section 400 would come without at post-construction stage, not pre-construction stage. So therefore, these eight crores, which is much, much, much bigger than the amount required for the building sanction. Can you see building sanction fee is only 65 lakhs and odds. Then the municipal corporation should not be uh, I mean, mandate upon me to accommodate the tenants. I can throw them out and I can build within the parameters of non-relaxation. Once you say that this is mandatory, that you have to provide them, that's why you have contemplated relaxation. Now relaxation is granted. I'm not going beyond that. Hmm. And the rate according to which this calculation has been made. Nothing is there. No, it's there. Breakup is there. 8769.6. Nothing. They say that. Where from is this 8769 coming? This is not from the schedule. That is there at page 36. I have given the details. Kindly come to my petition, page 36. This is determination of fees for retention of unauthorized structure. I have had never played for retention of authorized structures. And then we have these, uh, I have also annexed kindly turn to page 26. This is the basic scale of building permit fees for building under rule 142 of the building rules. And we, we do come under this. At page 26. Basic permit fee will mean the fees considering table 2A. Permit fees will mean so and so. The other charges which you have asked for, they are all ancillary. They call it not soaking charge, genus development charge. These are there. But this additional fee under section 400 will not is beyond jurisdiction. These are my humble submission. And will not just I will have on one, Joshua uh, didn't. <clears throat> judgment below of the coordinate bench by the Honorable Justice Origin Banerjee. But this is reported in 2016, Volume 3, Calcutta High Court Notes 348. And also 2016, 3 Calcutta Law Times. Hmm. Now, this was not the relaxation because of metro construction. The court considers the power of the municipal building committee. I will not travel my lot with that. Now, kindly come to me, Lord, section uh, paragraph 26. Sanction of, the, of a building plan is a matter within the exclusive jurisdiction of the KMC. The KMC is the supreme authority for granting or refusing sanction of a building plan in respect of land to which the KMC Act applies. The grounds for refusing sanction have been mentioned so and so. The municipal authority has to act strictly in accordance with the provisions. Well, I'm skipping over, then kindly come to me at paragraph 29. No, paragraph 28 rather. Once the municipal building committee of the KMC accords approval to a building plan, the same along with recommendations, if any, are to be communicated to the mayor in council as soon as possible by the municipal commissioner. The mayor in council shall consider the recommendations of the MBC and may accept the same or in case of non-acceptance or any of the modification, alteration or cancellation of the same shall record, record reasons thereof within 30 days from the date of communication of such recommendation. The municipal building committee constitutes of eminent members from the fields of engineering, town planning, fire services, so and so. And the recommendation of the MBC is ordinarily not interfered with by the mayor in council. In an instant case, the MBC passed resolution number so and so of the building plan as submitted by the petitioner on 1st of August 2014 in its entirety, subject to the compliance of other departmental requisitions. It is not the case of KMC that the mayor in council has rejected or in any case modified the recommendation of the MBC. 
Rule 39 of the KMC Building Rules enjoined on the Municipal Commissioner a duty to communicate the recommendations of the MBC to the Mayor in Council as early as possible. The said rule also imposes an obligation on the Mayor in Council to accept or reject or modify the MBC's recommendation within 30 days from the date of communication of MBC's recommendations. If the recommendations of the MBC in the instant case have not been communicated to the Mayor in Council till date, or if in spite of such communication, the Mayor in Council has not given a decision in the matter within 30 days of receipt of such communication, it is the problem of the KMC and the applicants should not be made to suffer for the inaction on the part of the KMC. In fact, paragraph 30, I would go to the extent of saying that if the recommendation of the MBC is not communicated by the Municipal Commissioner to the Mayor in Council, as early as possible, or if in spite of such communication, the mayor and council does not give his decision within 30 days of receipt of the communication, then and in that event, the requirement of approval of the MBC's recommendation by the mayor and council would be deemed to have been waived by the KMC. The term as early as possible means soon as the reasonable feasible. If one gives a more charitable interpretation to the said term, it would mean within a reasonable period of time in the instant case, more than one year has elapsed. No, that is on the date delay. I am not on that. Therefore, the, the embassy's recommendation, will not, it becomes mandatory for the municipal corporation to follow. Now, another judgment, which is a division bench judgment reported in 2017, Volume 4, Calcutta High Court, Notes, page 6. Yes, Six. Okay. Now the relevant paragraph would be paragraph 18. <laughs> Chapter 22 of the KMC Act details the procedure to be adopted to obtain a sanction plan. Sanction Section 393 provides that every person who intends to erect a building shall apply for sanctions once so and skipping over Miller. Rule 4 of the KMC rules provides that a person who intends to erect Miller, I mean, again, skipping over, these are all known to your lordship. But the decision is Miller, just uh, five lines from the bottom. A perusal of Schedule 1 would reveal that for erection and alteration of a building, the person has to answer the queries internally as to whether the premises is tenanted. Rule 142 details the relaxation which would be available for construction of a building in place and state of existing buildings after demolition. Rule 142.3 specifically provides that every application for availing relaxation of building rules has to be accompanied with documentary evidence of the tenants of the existing building signifying their plans to the demolition thereof. From the above statutory provisions explicit that grant of any pre decisional hearing to the tenants pertaining to the issue of sanctionary building plan is not mandatory statutory requirement. As the present appeal does not involve any other thing, but that's a only different issue of hearing of the tenants. But the effect of section rule 142 becomes mandatory. Now, therefore, let them Miller sanction the building plan and we shall proceed. If we violate, then impose, we'll be bound to pay as per the requirement. Let us start with the basic tenets on which the entire case of my learned senior friend stands. My Lord, I will be troubling my Lord with the objection filed today against my report. Your Lordship is having a copy of that? Yes. Your Lordship would first come to uh, page 4 of that. Page 4. Page 4. Roman 2. Last two lines. The petitioners have not yet been issued the sanction plan and the question of construction has not yet arisen. The second thing, then in the same paragraph, 
the last paragraph, uh, sorry, the last portion, that the power of relaxation has been exercised in many cases for the benefit of, Mallard would mark, weaker section. That's also my learned friend's submission. Of the society to provide them with shelter. By illegal and arbitrary imposition of additional fee would run contrary to the basic principles of social justice. Then your lordship would turn next page. The second paragraph, it starts with, I further say that for the development of the said premises, the application was submitted for building sanction for a proposed G plus 11 storied assembly building. Mallard would mark this assembly building of height of 38475. Then thereafter this plan, the application was made under rule 142 as proposal involved rehabilitation of how many number of tenants? Eight number of tenants. So for rehabilitation of eight number of tenants, I have submitted a plan proposal of an assembly building of G plus 11. So these are the basic tenants on which it moves. Now, in this case, the resolution of the committee considered the plan proposal for the said premises, considering rehabilitation of the tenants. Now, my lord, to take the building rules. Manor also gets it in rule as well as section 390 also. Malad, this assembly building, your lordship would get 390 subsection 2 explanation B and also in rule Which explanation you said? My Lord, 390. D. Subsection 2D. Two two, yes. Then explanation D. D. Correct. That will do. My Lord, the rule and uh, section are all in the same. Yeah. Assembly building. Hmm. That is to say, any building or part thereof where group of people congenerate or gather, congregate. sorry, congregate or gather for amusement or recreation, or for social, religious, patriotic, patriotic civil travel, sports, and similar other purposes, such building shall include theatres, motion picture houses, drive-in theatres, city halls, town halls, auditoria, exhibition halls, museum, skating ring, gymnasium, restaurant, Eating houses, hotels, boarding houses, also lodging or rooming houses, guest houses, dormitories, places of worship, dance halls, club rooms, 
gymkhana, passenger station, and terminal of air, surface, and other public transportation services, recreation, fires, and steam. Now, my Lord, try to put in line with that statement that Rule 142, and it is only for my Lord rehabilitating sub rule 14 rule 2 sub rule 14 uh, uh, it is also a similar sub rule sub rule that's those who are socially weaker section of the society malad this uh, definition your lordship also gets in building rule rule 2 sub rule 2 sub rule 40 Again, that explanation D. Explanation D, assembly building. But in building rules, rule 2, explanation D. So it doesn't match with this statement in the objection file. Now, my, Lord, my learned friend was uh, placing reliance of Rule 142. But Lord, I want to place Rule 142. My Lord would see what Rule 142 actually states. has got room one yes. old and insecure building mm. here it is old and insecure building mm. the following relaxation of these rules will be available for construction of building in place and stead of existing building after demolition thereof additional f a r to the tune of 100% of the area presently occupied by the tenants will be allowed over and above the FAR being presently utilized in the existing structure premises. My learned friend was relying upon 142.2. Let us see what 142.2 says. The relaxation under subrule 1 above, that is for FAR 100%, will be available only when the existing building which is to be demolished meets either of the following criteria. So these criteria have to be fulfilled to get an exemption under 142. Only FAR. Only now, my Lord, I have taken instruction. If the 142, as it stands, if it is applied in this case, he will get a construction for G plus 7, normal application of G plus uh, 142. He gets G plus 7. Now, this G plus 11 is over and above the normal relaxation available to him under 142. He files a repetition, posts of. I'll say post so that I will make all these illegality while making construction. Paragraph 6 and 7 of the repetition. I will do this, 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 this beyond a wanton, reckless violation of the building rule. I will carry on construction. But you cannot ask me any extra payment. Only take the normal fee. I ask a question to myself whether that would be permissible. Mm -hmm. Malad, we are now at a stage of proposal and acceptance. A, a person who intends to construct first finds a planned proposal. It is proposal. Corporation, after considering his proposal, <laughs> Accords sanction to that proposal. We are at a stage. We say tentatively we will consider and proceed. Provided you. 
if you do not accept that provided part that is my learned friend was placing page 23 page 23 no difficult uh, page you, 23 to the so no difficult proceed normal did you intimate them that you are entitled to only g plus 7 g plus 7 was not intimated but he has first he has filed a proposal for g plus 11 yes and he sought for this exemption under this rule Right. We proceeded, we said the MBC, your Lordship, my learned friend had placed those MBC. Now that MBC, what does the MBC say? Your Lordship would kindly take it up once more. It says, at page, MIC, at page 9 of my uh, affidavit of uh, that report I submitted, that the applicant has to pay necessary fees and charges as per the KMC schedule of rates. The applicant has to pay additional fee and charges for the violation of mandatory open space as detailed in the agenda item, considering IGR value as per the schedule of rates of KMC. Now your lot you would see page 23. Of the writ petition. <laughs> Page 23, that is my intimation to him, which is the subject matter of challenge before your lordship. What is why what what do I communicate to him? With the reference to the building application, he makes an application. Yeah. Submitted to the above proposal, this is to inform you that the building permit along with the sanction plan will be, will be, yeah. future tense, yeah. will be issued subject to the payment of a fee amounting to rupees so and so. It's an offer. You do not accept. Nobody stops you. Offer cannot be challenged. Now, Malady, or Lordship, after all, Malad, the whole in these circumstances, the honorable court has to consider upon the right of the individual or petitioners like this. So to a say fundamental right has to be judged on the anvil of social and statutory justification. Mm -hmm. There has to be a social justification. And the statutory justification. And what is the statutory justification for constructing G plus 11 when you are entitled to G plus 7? Have you ever the mentioned... The only justification is I am going to house the tenants. How many tenants? Eight tenants. Even he gives half of a floor, that will only be four. G plus 11 is not required. And for that, an assembly building is not required. So the, it's a camouflage effort to mislead everyone and get a sanction at a normal cost. What is his case? I have not started any construction. He has stated at least 15 places like a parrot that not a single brick has been let down. Why this fee? Malad, you are going to violate. And once with all these things on record, and G plus 11 is constructed, I cannot proceed against him. Had he constructed this without, without, sanction. without sanction, Malada, it would have entailed subsection 8 of section 400. Mm. Any writ petition before your lordship, not, your lordship would not have hesitated to throw it out from the court. Mm. And today he said, because this is only a shield sort to be created mm. so that the corporation subsequently, because my mood, my hands are tight now, because everything is on record. Mm. And suppose if I would have allowed him to retain that G plus 11, I would have gone under that table retention. Same church. Same church. He will benefit. He will enjoy the benefit 
without the rivers. This is his. Now, my lord, your lordship, a very pertinent question fell to my learned senior student. The building rules which are mandatory in nature, my lord, the relaxation only in respect of affair, nothing else. It's not for the size. Whether the building rules, open spaces, not size, size. All, open spaces. all open spaces, whether they can be compromised or compromised with. Well, this has been already considered in by the Supreme Court in 2001, four Supreme Court cases, 215. My Lord, I'd be troubling my Lord with the last paragraph. Which is paragraph 11. My Lord, this rest, my Lord, our, uh, with the deepest of respect, as a student of law, I say that our Corporation Act and the rules, so far as building is concerned, it's a regulatory. It's a regulatory in nature that giving certain benefits, then saying that you cannot do this, you have to do it in this fashion. Now, in that backdrop of our rules, your Lordship would kindly take paragraph 11. Under the rules, there is restriction with regard to the maximum height of the building. The building should not be constructed exceeding 1.5 times and the width of the street abutting plus 1.5 times the frontier. Before the High Court, the fifth respondent gave an affidavit that he would convert the ground floor of the building for the purpose of crowd parking. The said affidavit could not have been entertained as the ground floor had already been constructed and let out. Most surpri surprising is that, that the requirement of having provisions towards the protection from the fire hazards and other also was also dispensed with. The minimum width of the staircase as required under Rule 21 also got dispensed. This shows that the rules which are mandatory in nature and are required to be complied with for the construction of a high-rise high building, here it is G plus 11, what he proposes to do, were allowed to be dispensed with observance and compliance with the rules is for public safety and convenience. There cannot be relaxation of the rules which are mandatory in nature and cannot be dispensed with, with especially in the case of a high-rise building. The position may be different in the case of one or two-storied building where there are minor deviations from the rules which do not affect the public safety and the convenience. In the present case, we find that the deviations are of high magnitude. Your Lordship would kindly just read with me once paragraph 6 and 7 of the read petition. We are therefore of the view that the order passed by the state government exempting the provisions of the rules for constructing an eight-story building was contrary to the mandatory provisions of the rule and therefore is not sustainable in law. But well, this is my answer because it fell from your lordship's one query. I, it's my duty as an officer of court to give an answer. I have given that answer. My learned friend was relying upon one rule of the building rules, rule 62. Well, would kindly take rule 62. Tell me one thing, despite noticing the fact that this is the uh, mandatory side open spaces that have been sought to be relaxed, why did the Municipal Building Committee? Malar, this fee, I should uh, be failing in my duty if I not say this, 
that this fee, miscellaneous fee that was charged, is of a deterrent type and prohibitive, so that otherwise, Maladiya Lordship's court would be flooded with writ petitions in a situation like this, that you give me exemption over and above. Allow me to do this, and you cannot charge anything extra from me. Assuming yes. the petitioner admits paying this amount, there may be several others who would be uh, agreeable to pay this amount. That, uh, what does this mean? That you will go on exempting the, uh, uh, go on relaxing the mandatory rules? Well, look, does it? A, that is a gray area. After getting my uh, bills and all this, he has made a representation. He has made a representation to be considered. In the light of the facts, what I have submitted after recording the same, your lordship sends back. Let the authorities put their mind once over again on the entire issue. On the, the light of the observation. In the light of the observation, what your lordship records, the magnitude is such. Yes. And G plus 11 story. Yes. And you are relaxing the side I open not, spaces. I do, not, I do not say, my lord, I do not say anything so far as that part is concerned. But I say this, that since he has made a representation, let it be considered. He is and representation. Let the, let the authorities revisit the issue. My lord, in my notes, my, my notes, your lord should would kindly take for once. The petitioner is relying upon the... Uh, Approval of the MIC. That is not final. He himself says it is not final. What's the final? Of course, yes. You are saying that I have not been issued. Be that, that the petitioners have not yet been issued the sanction plan. And money. the question of construction has not yet arisen. That is because non of non-payment. Yes. Because the approval is a conditional approval. Right. If he does not accept the condition, the approval also, like Close. a camp for... It, it goes. Also extinguishes. Right. But then if he pays, there may be others who will be willing to pay. That this is, is what the concern of the court. That is your, my lord, I am now posed with a question from your lordship's uh, court that what would happen if he pays and there might be 10 others who would be agreeable yes. to pay this and to get an extra, my lord, it's a quite a huge benefit. If I, my, under the law, I want, I will get G plus 7. Right. And I want to construct G plus 11, right. which is almost half of the APR more than what I get. So I was submitting my lord, subject to what? Also from your lord. Let the entire matter go. Let the so authorities is, revisit it. That is all no difficulty about it. Now my lord, my lord would kindly take my note. Yes. I have filed in the form of an affidavit. <laughs> My Lord, in my the last part of the document that is my Lord, it is affidavit of report. My Lord, the last part page eleven. Yes. Is the report itself, and those are the supporting documents preceding this report. Well, would kindly come to page 12. Mm -hmm. The last paragraph. In respect of the referred case, it is to be mentioned that since the authority of Kolkata Municipal Corporation was pleased to allow relaxation, subject to the submission of requisite fees and charges, if the applicant fails or unwilling, here he is unwilling, to deposit the same, the plan proposal <coughs> may be reviewed in terms of the prevailing rule and regulation of KMC and fees and charges will be raised as per the schedule of rate of KMC. There, there is no hard and I am not forcing you that you have to accept this. But if you accept, if I accept your proposal, you have to pay this. Well, not here. Question is of a different type 
and that judgment of my my learned friend relied upon of my lord justice origin penalty yes yes it has been just very well authority recommendation and consider the i find that my lord i appeared before the court but it's on a different issue altogether is on it absolutely on a different they are the question of mbc my lord here nobody is saying that mbc is NBC or MIC's resolution is back. But you yeah. are doing that. No, I say that M MIC and NBC have made it clear that sub since this is violation of, they have noted those violations. They say that since of since these violations are on record, we you can approve the plan subject to the payment of this. Please. Page twenty three. That is the issue. Page twenty three. That is the that is the uh, that that is why page twenty three has been issued. He says, "Allow me to construct on the normal fees, but the illegality will be there. I will commit X Y Z illegality, but payment would be the normal fees." My Lord, I ask a question to myself: Whether that is permissible? Here, M B C's resolution or M I C's recommendation is. Not in the subject matter. The subject matter of challenge is very short. That is. I have followed it. Yes. Uh, Anything in reply? Yes. Yes. Oh, the rule. The rule. The rule. The rule. The rule. One forty-two. No, once no, no. your lordship would kindly come to the building rules. Yes. I got Sorry. distracted from the point what I wanted to show. My learned friend was relying upon rule sixty-two. Yes. Wanna look kindly see what rule sixty two is about. Minimum open spaces with respect to the building for residential use. Mm. Not applicable. Not applicable at all. His entire argument is based on rule sixty two. Mm. Now your lot should kindly take rule sixty four. Minimum open spaces with respect to the building for institutional assembly. Business, marketing, mercantile, and mixed users. Mm. So, sixty-two is not applicable to him on the basis of based of based on which he has proceeded and argued his case. Same thing. Whether it comes to the same thing or not is a different issue. But sixty-two yes, yes. is not applicable exactly. so far as you are concerned. Judgment to rest in full. Our judgment to achieve. The recommendation of the building committee has to be considered by the MIC. Yes, here, Malad, the first judgment is the recommendation of the building committee has to be considered by MIC. That, Malad, that has that we have left that stage. We have proceeded further, said that we are ready to approve it, subject to your payment. As our second judgment, which is by Rule One Forty Two, here they were asking tenant to go here in the bar door. That is again, Malad. Before that grant, case. that is also not the question. Why, case, why I'm granting? Not, huh? You are not listening. I'm not argued that. I have said the mandatory power of MBC. M one forty two. I again submit it is only for the affair. Does not encompass okay. the violation of all open spaces. The matter can be sent back for reconsideration if your lordship so please. What is your reply? The first reply is that unfortunately the. Uh, council argued against the decision of the claims. Whether it's permissible, I leave it to your lordship. The point that which I wanted to not convey is not answered. I was asking what is the legal authority by which you can impose additional fees? As you say, just kindly see the resolution of the MIC once again. Page nine of their report that the proposal is approved. Well, they do not say that this proposal cannot be approved. Then the applicant has to pay necessary fees charges as per the KMC schedule of rates. Okay, then has to pay the additional fees and charges. Not I was really trying to argue what is the statutory authority. Yes, I get it. The statutory authority will not cannot go beyond the provisions. You cannot impose while sanctioning a building plan the. Additional fees. Additional fees you can definitely impose if you find that there has been violation of the sanction plan. By imposing this, you are taking upon yourself 
that the plan would be violated. But if it really goes with the psychology of the present affairs, I don't argue that it would be go beyond the scope of the legality. You don't have any power under the law to enforce this additional pay. Very That's the point. And you cannot challenge the decision which I have already taken. My learned friend very ably argued against the decision of the municipal corporation. Please come. Grateful. Hearing concluded, CAV. Uh, reply file. Exception to the report. Exception of the petitioner to the report filed by the KMC be written with the records. And develop them. I am going to the Lord Shiva. No further matters. Yes, the Lord Shiva, I am appearing for the private respondent. One minute. This matter cannot be heard in the court application stage, possibly because the affidavits are over. So it will be taken up in the hearing stage. Affidavits are not over. Your Lordship has been on the earlier occasion, please to direct twice to file exception, which was paid by my learned friend. Where is the exception? The exception has I not say, been my lord, we have, my lord, I have taken instruction, my lord, whatever my friend has said, that is correct, my lord. Oh. There was a suppression of fact by the clients. I have called for the petitioner, my lord. She's a senior citizen. She is present in court. I have instruction to withdraw the petition. May I indicate the fact, my lord? My lord, there are three buildings. The middle building has done the illegal construction. The allegation of illegal construction. My lord, A has made an allegation, filed the writ petition, obtained an order, gone before the KMC tribunal, challenging and regularization order. That is still pending. Now, my lord, the illegal construction also extends to the other portion, that is to the B. Let's say B, my lord, my this, this petitioner. But now she has come up in this writ petition. The only difficulty is that that is affirmed by the same person who has filed the earlier writ petition. No, no, address is also the same. Lord, On the last occasion, your lordship has been I from my learned friend. Why will costs not be imposed? Yes, the CDS, this is a miscommunication. I have bought the... No, no, don't, don't, don't bring the client over here. That is not he required. Lord, I, have the... been, I have not been communicated properly. When I say that, I tender my apology. Man. Let me withdraw this. My, Lord, my, Lord, my client cost, is cost, cost. also a senior citizen. He has to pay legal expenses to us. Why he will suffer? I am putting the question to myself. Affidavit by the same person and what fell from your lordship on the last occasion, same address. My learned friend on the last occasion submitted addresses are different. But in my opposition, it your lordship peruse, the address is same. The deponent who has affirmed the affidavit my Lord. has done so deliberately and he is liable to pay costs to some extent at least. Well, I leave it to my lordship. I also leave it to you, Lord. Otherwise, if this is permitted to continue, this is going to be a very bad precedent if no cost is imposed. Learned Advocate representing the writ petitioners admits that there has been miscommunication between the petitioners and the Learned Advocate for which proper facts could not be placed in the uh, petition. Stop. Next. Learned advocate representing the res private respondent submits that it was a deliberate attempt on the part of the petitioners to mislead the court upon suppression of material facts. Stop. Upon hearing the parties, it appears that indeed there has been suppression of facts. Stop. The uh, learned advocate for the petitioner has sought leave to withdraw the writ petition. Stop. The leave sought for will be allowed subject to payment of costs of rupees 10,000 to be paid. in the office of the High Court Legal Services Committee by 
10th April 2024. Kindly extend some time. Allah. 12th of April 2024. List on 15th. Stop the receipt showing payment of costs shall be produced before the court on the urgent date. Yeah. I only had one prayer. Item number four, Milord, is in the original side list. Would you, Lordship, kindly take it up on Monday, Milord? Tomorrow, some difficulty on my part. Who is your other side? So, Arik Banerjee, I'll inform him. Have you? I'll, I'll inform him. Appearing for the KMC, Milord. Very well. Monday? Monday. Oh, that's it, Lordship, I am for the petitioner. Lordship, uh, the hearing took place yesterday as well. This is the case of age relaxation. I am a contractual sub-registrar under KMC and I am seeking to sit for the examination for the regular position of sub-registrar. I have all my qualifications, continuous work without any gap. When I was inducted, I was within the age limit. Right now, I'm looking for an opportunity to take the exam one last time, but my age is 52 years and 8 months as of now, and the age limit is 50 years, my lord. Did you check up the judgment that yes, has been relied upon? I checked up the judgment, and ma'am, there are two essential facets to this judgment. The first one being that when it comes to casual laborers or contingent workers under the Commissioner of Central Excise, they have a very separate role, and they're trying to take the examination for SEPOI, my lord. And they have very different roles and very different responsibilities. So the age relaxation was not allowed. The second facet, my lord, is the doctrine of legitimate expectation, which I am not getting into, my lord. It is not my uh, case in this situation at all. So my lord, both the facts do not coincide with my case at all. I am not asking for regularization of any sort, my lord. I'm asking for an opportunity to participate with other um, qualified uh, candidates if I pass, then the respondent authorities get a bona fide candidate who has passed the examination. If I fail, my lord, I take full responsibility because this is my last attempt. It is simply I'm asking for an opportunity to take the examination, my lord. And if my lord allows um, lordship, there is a judgment. Lordship, this is um, the UPSC versus Dr. Jamuna Karup and others. Lordship, this is paragraph number, para number 14 and 15. Here it says, Lordship, that when it comes to understanding what the definition of employees is in corporations, we look at either the definition that is provided in the act or we look at the advertisement itself. Lordship, the advertisement which is enclosed with the writ petition in page number 37 in qualifications clearly mentions that contractual employees who have been working for five years or above are eligible to apply. I come with the same eligibility, my lord. I have the eligibility to apply, hence I'm coming here to ask for the one eligibility I do not have, that is the age factor. I have another judgment to support the same fact, my lord, if, if you allow. Um, My Lord, this is Delhi Subordinate Services Selection Board and another versus Preeti Rathi and others. Paragraph number 14. Here it says that contractual employees can come under the consideration for regular appointments, provided that when they were inducted, they were within the age limit. When I was inducted, I was within the age limit. I'm simply requesting for the consideration to sit for the examination and to take it. And then whatever results come, I am okay with that, my Lord. Your Lordship, I am led by Koeli Bhattacharya. She is appearing for Municipal Service Commission. Yes. 
Virat Kohli, and he has get the opportunity for two times. Two times he has already get the opportunity, but he cannot get the further more. But if I give the chance now, once more, then it will be precedent for everyone to get the chance for. What you want is a qualified candidate who is eligible for appointment, right? And the bar of age, age bar is there. Yes, and then the judgment of Govindra Chandra Mondal is also there. What will you do? Lordship, when I was inducted within the provisions, I was 38 years of age. I was within the age limit. What will be your submission? He, he appeared before the examination. He failed twice. And thereafter, we, the corporation has considered his case and he has not... No, no, this I have followed. This I have followed. Then? How many times have we shall think? Lord Chiba, I respectfully will submit you, it's my you, last time. Will you lose anything? Will you be prejudiced in any manner? In that, in that event, the, the employees... Anybody who appears in the examination does not mean that he or she qualifies it. Qualifies in the age. It, it is the I understand. This is where he seeks relaxation. Lord Chip, me sitting for the examination... The paragraph... In the paragraph 6 and uh, 6, 11, this 12. Yes. Eight, eight, three paragraphs we can do. On COVID, January 6, paragraph 6, states that the COVID, January 8th, the office of the chief commissioner of the central instance zone issued a notice inviting the application for. Recruitment to 40 posts of Sapo uh, General Central Service uh, Group Depot. As per the recruitment rules, the age limit prescribed. But this is a case of uh, regularization. How are you making it applicable over here? Yes, and here is also the recruitment. We are uh, conducting an examination. We are also the, that is the, they have invited the Applications from the uh, for recruitment. Yes. Then there will be examination and when they will pass, he will pass, then we will get here also the same case. Here I, I, I also invited a uh, advertisement for uh, recruitment. Mm -hmm. Say yeah, you want to apply, but his age is the bar, therefore he cannot apply. Lordship, respectfully, if you go through the judgment, my lord, it talks about two very separate categories of employment. One is a casual day-to-day -day paid need-to-need need basis employee and the other one is a regular sepoy. My lord, in my situation, I am a contractual employee. I work as a sub-registrar. I have similar duties. I am not as far away as a casual laborer versus a sepoy, my lord. I have, I, I am very familiar with the duties of a regular sub-registrar as well, working at a, at a burning heart. The petitioner is serving as the sub-registrar in the Kolkata Municipal Corporation on contractual basis. Stop. He intends to participate in the recruitment process initiated by the West Bengal Municipal Service Commission for the post of sub-registrar. Stop. The petitioner possesses the prescribed qualifications, uh, prescribed essential qualifications required for participating in the recruitment process, but he is more than the prescribed age as mentioned in the advertisement. Stop. The age limit prescribed is 45 years. On the 1st January of the year of advertisement, semicolon, the petitioner is Lordship, there's also years of um, age. Respectfully, Lordship, there's also five-year relaxation for people like me who work in burial grounds already in similar posts, my Lord. 
the advertisement prescribes that the upper age limit shall be relaxable by five years for candidates who are working in a similar nature of post, either on permanent or contractual basis in the burning huts slash burial, burial grounds for at least five years in the government slash semi-government slash local authorities slash statutory bodies slash urban local bodies. Stop. Despite the five years relaxation given to the petitioner, he is age barred and cannot uh, take part in the recruitment process. Stop. The petitioner prays for relaxation of the age bar relying on the uh, larger bench decision of this honorable court in the matter of Gobindra Chandra Mondol versus Principal Robindra Mahavidyalaya reported in 2013 within bracket 1 caps CHN within bracket CAL 9. Stop. Next. Learned Advocate representing the corporation opposes the prayer of the petitioner. Stop. It has been submitted that age relaxation was allowed to the petitioner on two earlier occasions where the petitioner failed to qualify. Stop. Age relaxation cannot be allowed further as the same may open floodgates and may be treated as a precedent in respect of other candidates who are age barred and cannot participate in the recruitment process and cannot and is not eligible to participate in the recruitment process. Stop. In support of the said submission, the learned advocate for the corporation relies on the decision passed by the Honorable Supreme Court in the matter of Union of India and Others versus A-R-U-L-M-O-Z-H-I space I-N-I-A-R-A-S-U and Others reported in 2011 AIR SCW 4252. Stop. In response to the aforesaid submission, learned advocate for the petitioner undertakes that, that this is the last attempt which the petitioner intends to uh, take and the petitioner will not take part in any further recruitment examination to be conducted by the Municipal Service Commission for appointment of sub-registrars in the corporation. Stop. Next. Learned Advocate for the Petitioner relies upon the judgment delivered by the Honorable Supreme Court in the matter of Union Public Service Commission versus Dr. Jamuna Kurup and others reported in 2008, 11 SCC, 10, paragraphs 14 and 15 and the judgment delivered by the Honorable Delhi High Court in the matter of Delhi Subordinate Services Selection Board and another versus Preeti Rathi and others reported in 2011 SCC online Dell 4761. Stop. Next. I have heard the submissions paragraph D made on behalf of all the parties and have perused the documents placed before this court. Stop. It appears that 
at the time of initial appointment of the petitioner in the post of sub registrar he possessed the uh, essential prescribed qualifications as specified in the recruitment notice stop next the recruitment notice permits relaxation of age for candidates working in similar nature of post stop next the larger bench of this court in the uh, matter of gobindra chandra mondol within bracket supra held that if the candidate is engaged on temporary basis having requisite qualification at the time of appointment and allowed to participate in the selection process such candidate has a right to be considered provided their services are continuous and without any break in the vacancy of the substantive post stuff admittedly in the present case the petitioner is in service for a considerable period of time stuff next uh it is true that the petitioner failed to qualify in the previous two recruitment examinations where he participated upon relaxation of age but the petitioner has uh, made an undertaking before this court through the learned advocate that this is the last year which he will sit for the examination and in case he fails to qualify comma he would not participate in future recruitment processes stop next the paragraph the judgment relied upon by the corporation uh deals about the rights of temporary employees and temporary employees to participate in recruitment processes and uh and it has been held that once the appointments are temporary it would not confer any right to claim any permanent post in the department stop paragraph in the instant case the petitioner is not seeking permanency in the post in question stop he intends to participate in the recruitment process and only if the petitioner is successful comma then the question of appointment would arise stop next there is no reason as to why another chance may not be given to the petitioner to uh take part in the recruitment process stuff next in view of the above the west bengal municipal service commission is directed to accept the offline application of the petitioner for participating in the recruitment examination to be conducted pursuant to the advertisement number 01 of 2024 dated 23rd february 2024 upon relaxation of his age stop the present employer of the petitioner is directed to issue the required no objection certificate in his favor so that he can submit the same in the office of the west bengal municipal service commission stop the permission to appear in the recruitment examination along with other eligible candidates comma will under no circumstances comma create any equity in favor of the petitioner for being appointed in the post stuff and the employ not and the employer shall be entitled to appoint the successful candidate in the post strictly in accordance with law 
the writ petition stands disposed of. I'm grateful, my lord. <laughs> Last time, my lord. I'm grateful. <laughs> I am for the petition, Amal. Will I make a appeal under the state respondents? What is the matter about? Malada, April 6, April 2022, Malada, notification for settlement of ferry guard. 13th April, Auction was conducted. I participated. I emerged as a successful bidder. I deposited my fees. On the other hand, the then Malod, the leaseholder, he filed a read petition challenging the selection process, challenging the settlement process, and praying for extension of his settlement. And ultimately, this court decided no, there cannot be any extension. If you want, you can participate. He didn't participate. But after receiving fees from me, well, referring that order, my engagement that was cancelled by the Gram Panchayat, which I challenged before Lordship. And also they made attempt to settle the ferry guard by way of a fresh auction. Now, if your Lordship comes to pay <clears throat> uh, 33, that's your Lordship's order. Yes. Your Lordship has discussed the thing elaborately. That was passed on 13th of June 2022. Your Lordship was pleased to cancel the cancellation and direct them to implement the settlement, as was made with me. Now, despite of that, the Gram Panchayat Malad, they went up to appeal, page 39, and they lost it on 7th of July, 2022. Only after losing the appeal, by the <coughs> later dated 25th July, 2022, at page 43, Malad, they handed over position of the ferry guard in my favor. I paid for two years, which starts from 13th April, 2022, and ends on 13th April 2024. But I was put on position on 5th of 25th July 2020. Now, your Lordship knows now, election conduct has been there. Model code of conduct. Model code of conduct is there. Taking advantage of that, the Prodhan is asking me to step down from the guard. Why? 13th April is coming. He cannot put it on tender. Hmm. Even if it's ballot. Hmm. By the lease is end, even if hmm. now he wants to run it himself by engaging some persons, but I am entitled to run it till 24th of July 2024. Listen, one thing this page 43 was issued to you on 25th of July 2022, and you knew very well yes. that it was effective from 13th April for a period yes. of two years. Yes, why did you not seek extension at that period of time? But it's a normal, normal understanding that if there is any lapse of time or lose of time that is be compensated either by way of my refund of my money or I would be my Lord, allowed. Normal understanding. Yes, my Lord. And that, that's a common procedure that is being followed. It's being followed my Lord, in the villages. But because anyhow, they didn't allow me to continue for those three months. So either he, they have to allow me for three months more or they have to pay it back. No steps, my Lord, pays 44. Hmm. My prayer before the authority. Uh, did the uh, Pradhan issue any notice to he you? He cannot. No, no. He just, he came to my guard and say, go. It's time to go now. And that's my environment. And it's a fact. There's no such formal communication to that effect. No, that that was not given to me. Did you take any instruction? Lord, I have taken instruction. but Lord, What is the instruction? Lord, no, Pradhan didn't make any formal Millard, uh, Millard communication to Very well, let the Pradhan allow him to continue till uh, two years. 24th of July, that would be two years. Lord, your Lordship can only see page 44, there is a representation. Yes, I can see. That should be considered in accordance with law. Instead of Millard. Did you serve the Pradhan? Yes, my Lord. Please come. But uh, through the registered mail of that Gram Panchad, I have served. The petitioner is. Mail. Mail. This is what. Gram Panchad is mail. Chale na. Running the Poshim Ratanpur Koshi Ferry Ghat in terms of the lease 
which was settled in his favor in the year 2022 as per auction notice 6th april 2022 stop on account of certain litigation in connection with the said auction the pradhan of the ferry and uh, no, the pradhan of the panchayat issued the uh, settlement notice in favor of the petitioner on 25th of july 2022 mentioning that the ferry is being settled with effect from 13th july 22 for 2 years stop next the petitioner submits that as the possession of the ferry was delivered to him on 25th july 2022 or effect from 13th april your lordship has already said 13th yes your lordship directed at 13th july that should be oh, 13th, 13th april have ki bollam i'm sorry my lord hmm. 2022 accordingly he is liable to run the ferry ghat for a period of 2 years from the date of taking possession stop next paragraph the petitioner has averred in the writ petition that the pradhan has directed the petitioner not to continue with the uh, service after 13th april now after 12th april 2024 stop no written communication has however been given by the pradhan to the petitioner as yet stop paragraph the petitioner has made a representation before the pradhan pradhan of the gram panchayat on 15th of march 2024 requesting the pradhan to permit the petitioner to continue till 13th of april na till of july 27th of july 2024 stop the said representation is pending consideration stop paragraph none represents the panchayat stop affidavit of service is taken on record stop paragraph it appears from the submission made on behalf of the petitioner and on perusal of the documents before this court that the ferry service is to be settled for a period of 2 years stop possession of the ferry was handed over to the petitioner on 25th july 2022 and accordingly the petitioner in ordinary course of events ought to be permitted to continue the same for a period of 2 years from the date of possession stop the as admittedly the ferry was not handed over to the petitioner on 13th april 2022 accordingly the petitioner ought not to be directed to discontinue the service on and from 13th april 2024 stop next paragraph the representation made by the petitioner before the pradhan seeking permission to continue till july 2024 is pending consideration stop next in view of the above the instant writ petition is disposed of by directing the pradhan of the gram panchayat to consider the said representation in the light of the observation made here in above and to pass a reasoned order and communicate the same to the petitioner stop learned advocate for the petitioner is directed to forward a copy of the representation dated 15th march 2024 and a copy of the uh writ petition notice itself. why the writ petition are there other documents required to be considered yeah court order and all i think uh, very well forward a copy of the representation alada kore jeta bollam representation dorkar nei copy of the writ petition along with all annexures to the aforesaid respondent at the time of communicating the order of the court stop a decision shall be taken in the matter at the earliest but positively prior to 14th of april 
The opposition appears to be voluminous than the writ petition itself. Lord, all the papers that they had, my lord, referred to in their intervention application, we brought in papers as well. Matter is on a very narrow compass. My lord can decide it, my lord. Once they come up with their reply, my lord, they have a right of a reply. But I have a humble request, my lord. I municipality like is the municipality I... represented? Has Prashmanarpur? Yes, yes. Oh, yes. you are there. Yes. But I have a humble request. But I had applied for a certified copy of this petition. It is still certified copy of the petition. All right. Till date, it has not been uh, made over. It cannot be possibly because the file is over there. Hmm. But it kindly gives me that liberty. But I do not know what is there in the writ petition. I have requested, but not gotten a copy otherwise. Please come. If it is in opposition filed by the writ petitioner to the application. Seeking intervention is taken on record. Stop. Next. The interveners seek time to file an exception to the same. Stop. Let the exception be prepared and circulated. How soon can you do it? 10 days, you lot. Exception. By 19th of April. Reply. When the reply. Malad reply. Malad is grant, uh, for liberty. Okay, if it will reply, reply. for an exception. Uh, 19th of April. List on 30th of April. Obliged, Raj. Some direction with regards to the handing over the certified copy. Malad, Malad if he wants, Malad, he can... Uh, if you want a certified copy, then it will take time. But in that case, you can supply a copy to him. I, I, I will formally write to my learned friend. Let yes. me formally write, but I, there is no, I'm no so difficulty. grateful to you. I'm thankful to my learned friend. Obliged, Your Lordship. But on the last occasion, Your Lordship directed me to serve notice upon Mr. Shopan Kumar. Was it not served to you earlier? Has to be. It was served. So you were not there yesterday. Malada. The read petitioner before your lordship, my lord, was an employee of the uh, Kolkata Municipal Corporation. Yes. Malada retired from service on my lord. 31st March 2020. Malata, the overdrawal amount from the retired benefits have been deducted by the corporation. Malata. Malata, I prayed before lawsuit to Malad refund the Malad overdrawal amount with certain interest. Has it and been the... has it been uh, deducted already? Malata, already deducted. Malata, kindly peruse Malad the annex chat. That is the calculation as 48, page 48. This is pension calculations chart. Well, a deduction well, in the bottom portion, 78,615. Your Lordship knows well, uh, from the judgment of the... Claim ED. What does this ED mean? Well, that can be appraised by a learned plan. What is this ED? It lots of kind of takes up uh, this page, page 54. But the reason is there. Now, if a lot of kind of takes up page 54. Yes. May I place this, Mr. 
with reference to your above prayer, he says, re reply to a prayer so and so for rectification of basic pay in the pension book. With reference to your above prayer, this department informs you that in the year 2003, you have filed a writ petition before this Honorable Court at Kolkata against KMC for promotion to the post of Sarkar. In his order, the Honorable Justice uh, Ashok Kumar Dashrudhikari of the Honorable High Court stated that the respondent authorities to give promotion to the writ petitioners from the rate of filing the writ application. However, the writ petitioners would not be entitled to get any area pay or any area benefit or wages. The writ petitioners pay scale would be fixed on the basis of such promotion giving notional benefit. Thereafter, you applied for giving promotional effect as per order of the Honorable High Court. As per your prayer and also order of the Honorable High Court, this department has prepared a new uh, structure, uh, pay, new uh, pay structure. In that pay structure, it was observed that basic pay was reduced. When the uh, when the uh, said fact was, when the said fact was verbally narrated to you, you prayed for withdrawal of your earlier application. Well, this is very important because the matter was prepared as per order of the Honorable High Court. This department had sent your revocation prayer to the uh, uh, higher authority, and the higher authority has directed that the matter should be complied with the order of the Honorable High Court. When the pay structure was sent to the so and so for updation of latest basic pay, said department replied that because of the employee already being superannuated, basic pay could not be updated in HR and payroll database. This, this is why the basic pays in pay slip and service book were uh, mismatched. Actual basic pay was that which was written in the service book prepared as per the order of Honorable High Court and the matter was clearly narrated to you in that time in office. There are facts, specific, uh, facts, especially your prayer for revocation of the earlier application, proved that you uh, were very much aware of the monetary loss due to implementation of the order of the Honorable High Court. So, Malad, this is... Uh, you are also known that a previous old basic pay exists in pay slip and a new promotional basic pay exists in the only in the service book because the whole matter was dealt with only after your retirement. So it is impossible to generate a pay slip after retirement for that there are two types of basic pay in your last pay slip and PPO because PRO has generated as per the latest service book basic. The entire con uh, context and circumstances indicates that you are fully aware why you have uh, monetary loss and two types of basic. Even, uh, even so, you are still paying for activities of your basic pay, wasting a lot of value depart. Well, this is the reason, Malad, this, this is very uh, very important that he had withdrew his earlier prayer of application. Now, Malad, I have taken instruction, but I need to see what was there in his application. Lordship kindly directs me, Malad, to file a short report so that I can come up before Lordship with the reason as to why this has been made. Please come. I'll just file a report in the form of FDW. Lordship kindly grants me time, Malad. The petitioner is a retired employee of the Kolkata Municipal Corporation. Stop. He is aggrieved by the act of the employer in deducting a sum of rupees 78,615 from his terminal dues. Stop. Next. The petitioner submits that deduction of the amount after superannuation is impermissible in view of the various orders passed by the Honorable Supreme Court from time to time. Stop. Next. Learned advocate representing the corporation relies upon the communication made to the petitioner. Well, this is not to the petitioner. This is to one Pradip Kumar Sarkar, who was the one of the petitioners in the earlier petition. They, those three stand in the same footing. Rinayan Sarkar, Pradeep Kumar Karmokar, and the Pradeep Ghosh, who is the petitioner before your lordship. Malar, Pradeep Kumar Karmokar, that is also Malar, pending before your lordship. Which item number? Malar, item number, monthly list item number, Malar, 650. Are you appearing? 600 item. Yes, Malar. 650? 690. 690. 690. Malar. Are you there? Malar, 690. Malar, there? Mm, I do not know. Malar, I will serve Malar, if your lordship speaks it. Very well. well let Sorry. this matter be decided. If this matter is decided, then that can be taken care of easily by your lordship. Only if your lordship stack the matter. Lordship. Yeah, uh, I will please wait. Acha. The mm, you relies upon a communication dated twenty fifth of April twenty twenty two, addressed to one Pradeep Kumar Kormokar. Uh, a similarly circumstanced retired employee of the Kolkata Municipal Corporation. Disclosing the reason for the above deduction. Stop. Next paragraph. Learned advocate for the corporation is directed to file a report by way of affidavit. Giving the reason for the deduction and the uh, breakup of the deduction. Yes. 
So also the malar fixation of malar basic pay malar. Basic pay have been have been refixed by the. Okay, stop. The basic pay which has been fixed in respect of the petitioner shall also be disclosed in the said affidavit. Stop. Paragraph. The affidavit shall be prepared and circulated by 19th April. List on 30th April. Exception to the report may be filed in the meantime. In the same heading, my lord. Under the same heading, my Under the same heading. Where it is appearing. Adjourn motion, your lordship's last. Very well, adjourn motion. Achha, item number 690. Pradeep, item 690. Ita ke ke, um, but what I humbly submit before lots. Alke rakle habe? Yes. That let this matter be disposed of. Then that matter can be also disposed in the same line. No, but then again, an affidavit and everything has no, to No, no, no. That is addressed to my lord to the other. That's very good. What, whatever your lordship feels, my lord. I, I cannot say anything. Let your lordship decide. Because lordship. if an affidavit is again required, then again that will be delayed. And these are all super animated yes. employees. I leave it to lordship. That is the reason I do not want to it. delay it any further. I leave it to lordship. Achha, let item number 690 of the combined monthly list of 1st April 2024 be... Uh, Tagged along with the instant read petition on the prayer of the learned advocate representing the petitioner as it has been submitted that the facts of the case are similar. Stop. Next. You take instruction in that matter also in but that I case. Let, one but, uh, copy of the petition let, let a copy of the read petition be served upon Mr. Orijit De, learned advocate who is representing the corporation in the instant matter. Stop. The corporation shall file a report in the uh, said matter within the time as specified here in above. So, two affidavits. It is to tag. Are you sure the item number is 690? Check. Yes, yes. That is Pradeep Kumar Kormogar. Well, get full to alert. Not get full to alert. Yes. For the petition, my lord. Your lordship, Mr. Amul Kumar Shane is appearing for the respond, uh, state respond. My lord, he, my lord, he is engaged before the uh, appeal court, my lord, in court number eight, my lord. On the last occasion, your lordship has directed to file and uh, op file an affidavit on behalf of the respondent number three, the BDO. Your Lordship, uh, here is my affidavit, Your Lordship. My Lord, kindly. Did you serve a copy? Yes, Your Lordship. It has been served. My Lord. I've got it here. Let him place his case. Yes, Your Lordship. Or my Lord, kindly fix yes. another date, Your Lordship. Right. Mr. Sain will argue, Your Lordship. But then you are here. My Lord, I am not in this matter. He's Where is Mr. Jolodi Das? My Lord, he is ill. My Lord, he is not well. Uh, uh, he is not coming to court. I, I... He is not coming to court, but then his name gets reflected in the order sheets every day. Well, not only the... Some accommodation. What is your submission? Have you gone through the report? Yes, my Lord. I got Do you it. intend to file an exception or anything of that sort? Exception, my Lord. Uh, on five. But the yeah, the issue is very small, my Lord. But the issue is very small, my lord. Yes. The what is the issue? Allows, my lord. What is but, the issue? But the issue is, my lord, that the, the respondent number five, my lord, had contested the election as a general candidate. He has filed nomination as a general candidate. But at the time of appointment, my lord, as a prodhan, my lord, he, my lord, uh, produced a cert caste certificate and said that he is a scheduled caste and got got that post, my lord, which I, we can find from the report, my lord. Now, if you lord see, consider, my lord, the caste certificate and the... When was the... Application for caste certificate made? Application for caste certificate made, my lord, in 2018. But in the, whose name, my lord, can you see, my lord? Page 19. Of page? The, page? 19. My lord, of the report, my lord. And except me, uh, R3, my lord. <coughs> whose name? Pranoti Mondol. Pranoti Mondol. 
now my lord the the, the petitioner for the response now my lord kindly comes to my lord the nomination form my lord that is that is at page 22 pranoti banerji pranoti banerji now whether pranoti mondol and pranoti banerji are same and identical person that is one question my lord secondly my lord see this my lord by relying upon pranoti mondol's caste certificate pranoti banerji is still holding the post of panchayat my lord panchayat pradhan kindly consider that also my lord and now my lord if my lord the, the public at large has been shown that she is a general caste candidate and election has been held my lord and she got vote my lord thereafter my lord this is at the time of taking the post my lord she will become scheduled caste my lord because but at the time of giving vote my lord the voters my lord also have some reservation to whom they will give vote my lord to general caste candidate or to the scheduled caste candidate my lord i may have my lord uh, my my reservation but to whom i will give vote my lord so it was represented that i am a general caste candidate but my lord at the time of giving vote my lord holding the post my lord and then she she become scheduled caste my lord this is the issue my lord ऑफ is there anything in this uh, report that has been filed that pranoti mondol and pranoti banerji is the one and same identical Thank person you, nothing nothing no affidavit and nothing else but she is holding the post my lord as pranoti banerji till today my lord signing as pranoti banerji But use the uh, <laughs> the qualification certificate as Pranoti Mondo. In the BP also signed. But then doesn't Seven. the law permit uh, for production of the certificate at the time of getting the benefit of reservation? This is what the law permits. Now, my lord, uh, I am on another point, my lord. my point is this pilot that when you are representing yourself pilot to be a, a, a member of a particular caste or certain or pilot a general category pilot and you obtain vote pilot that is the, that is the, the the way you have obtained the vote now pilot when when the, the, the time of taking post come pilot you represent yourself as a team defendant pilot the result may, may be differ pilot if if she had a, while filing nomination Declare herself to be a scheduled caste member. If your submission is to be accepted, then this casteism will be perpetrated. Because when vote is given, the caste ought not to matter. Maybe a person is of a scheduled caste. That does not mean that people will not vote. only because of his or her caste or she will get a vote only because of his or of or her caste so who knows the mind of the voters my lord no nobody knows but then why should it be permitted to be perpetrated no so why why this person my lord we will not come up clean my lord in between which category he she belongs to and why why she will not represent herself before the public that is she is actually scheduled caste candidate my lord very that's the that is the reason why one candidate of स्टेट रेस्पॉन्डेंट हियरिंग ऑफ द मैटर स्टैंड अजर्न फॉर द डे 
stop list on 10th of april you know under the heading arjun motion 10th rag bu 11th rag bu then booth bar your lordship uh tenth eighth tak your lordship i apologize for my earlier submission my lord yeah, he, uh, my, uh, mr, mr. dawati das yes, will we continue with the hearing matter is actual to 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 attend say my lord yes, yes. Well, no it was because of you that it has been adjourned since you are here can we continue highly diabetes and uh, yeah call uh, the next matter yes sir first tarikh my lord i am for the ticket Where is the caste certificate over here? Okay, go on. Only come to page twenty-four, my lord. Of your writ petition? Yes, my lord. Her application, my lord. Application made, my lord. Or why, why, my lord? My twelfth July, my lord, two thousand twenty-three. My election was held, my lord. Eight eight uh, July two thousand twenty three result was published. My lad, election my result was published. My lad, eleventh July. My lad, and my lad application was made. My lad, twelfth July. My lad, where is the date? In my list of date, my lad, mentioned my lad, and here my lad the application online application. My lad, online and, application certificate number is such and twenty fourth of July twenty three. PBS page page PBS page page twenty three. Oh, date of application. Page twenty three. July. Yes, my lad. And eleven July, the result was declared. Declared, my lord. After declaration of the result, he applied for the certificate that was considered uh, the issued. That is the illegality, my lord. What is the explanation in the uh, report? Yes, there is no specific uh, uh, allegation in this regard, my lord. Explanation is not. Not necessary that the members be at the point to see each other. It's not that the person who is in the process of election. In the point of the service, we have to be in the process of 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 the process of
There is a circular annexed with the report. Yes, have you seen there is a circular annexed with the report? Yes. At page eight. The. It mentions five A. Please check up. Yes, the guidelines is mentioned. If he is contested job, job, but at that point of time, the certificate was not in her custody, my lord. Prior to the date of the election, the certificate was there in her custody. Election of Pradhan. What can be done? I file an exception to the report. What exception will you file? This is what the guideline says. Guideline says uh, he uh, belongs to the uh, category, but certificate was not there, my lord. It says that yes, my lord. provided yes. she has the necessary caste, tribe, gender qualification on the date of the election. What is to be done? Where is that law? Where, where is Mr. Sen? Same order as in the earlier matter. Let it appear on the 10th. Before start the hearing of this, my lord, application, my lord, I pray before my lord, my lord, direct the my lord, how I improve and trust. Lord, how do I improve and trust? Lord, yes, my lord, how do I, sorry, my lord, how do I, Jela Purisha? Jela Purisha. Yes, sorry. How do I, Purisha, to produce the report of the inspection, which was conducted by the, my lord, the Jela Purisha, my lord, the, by the assistant engineer, considering which the, my lord, impune order has been passed. That inspection was conducted pursuant to the order passed by this honorable court. There was a direction. Allah, kindly have a look. Give me the date of inspection. Yes, my lord. The... My lord, kindly have a look. The uh, previous order, my lord, page 17th February. Page 38, page 38 my lord, the, uh, the uh, order passed by the earlier date application. Allah, kindly have a look. What was the direction upon the my lord, Jila Purishad? Page 38, my lord. What they have to done? An inspection shall be conducted. Yes, yes. an inspection shall be conducted. My lord, the, the one C, my lord, the report of the B, say, in case of uh, it is found on preliminary inspection that there may be uh, reasons of belief that the construction was without permission and has been... Anyway, what is your submission? That inspection was not conducted? conducted no measurement has been made, no report, nothing. The, the, what is the... Was the report forwarded to you? 
but no, nothing. Malah they there is a specific direction. Malah the 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 uh, report should be handed over. Malah which report should be prepared with your the allegation is of unauthorized construction. Yes, yes, yes. At the behest of the private respondent. Yes, yes. There is a reason order that has been passed, which is under challenge. Yes, yes. Yeah, Does it mention? Can you have a look? There is a direction. The report of such inspection shall be prepared along with the sketch map indicating the extent and nature of one of the construction. Where is that, my lord? The, no, nothing has been disclosed. Nothing has been disclosed. Nothing has been disclosed. What is the area of land? Were you present at the time of inspection? I, I was present. But, but not, no measurement. I specific allegation. My, my specific allegation. That is one of the... I put, I put my signature. And doesn't where, mean. where is the inspection report? Page 41. Can you see? 41 is not the inspection report. What are? Ha, yes. Not. Where is the inspection report? report has... You were supposed to circulate the report prior to giving a hearing in the matter. Where is that? After inspection order has been passed. After inspection order is passed without giving any hearing? Yes, How is that possible? Kindly see, blood. It has already been heard. Where is the report of inspection which was directed to be circulated? I only see page 41, uh, paragraph bottom. Paragraph bottom. In the hearing, the respondent... Prior to hearing, there is the report of inspection should be there. Where is that? With sketch map and measurement. Where is that? Because this is what the court directed. Where is that? Uh, is the private respondent having an inspection report? Inspection report has not. No. You have the inspection report. That it was forwarded. Submitted with the forwarding letter. Where is that? <laughs> Do you have a copy? Did you annex it? <laughs> no measurement. No, I have not the land has been disclosed. But no measurement of the land has been disclosed. No length of the land. Are you aware whether there is an inspection report or not? But no. No inspection. How he can say but well, there is no inspection? Yes. How will you know if you do not? Uh... That there is no sketch map. There is a sketch map also. How we can know if How the report is not submitted? How will you know that there well, is no? Since, since no malar this no supply. No, has, no, no supply. No, no copy has been formed, circulated. But let them show malar the copy has been circulated to me. Report with the sketch map has been handed over to me. As I think malar that has also been supplied to the picture. Because in the hearing, he has not raised any objection that no report has been submitted, uh, supplied to me. He participated in the hearing, then the final order has been passed, and the Jilla Police Authority decided to revise the plan. Plan has already been revised. Now the fresh cause of action. I deposited the entire money as demanded. The building committee has permitted. And building committee permitted. Committee. Exercising Rule 15 of the... Yeah. Bylaws. Bylaws. That I shall demonstrate, my lord, whether the building committee has such power but to regularize the such a huge, my lord, the unauthorized construction. Let them so by disclose the area. Of but land. then the spot inspection report, at least it appears that it exists. Now, whether it was forwarded to you or not, I do not know. Yes, my lord, I, 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 the petitioner was present at the time of inspection, but on specific, specific, specific allegation is one no measurement, nothing has been made. One of the, even one of the, uh, uh, kindly have a look, one of the compliance, uh, the report of the, uh, by the way, of APDB, which has been filed, one of the, there is no, no, uh, disclosure, no disclosure of land, area of land. In that eight petition, there is no allegation that report has not been supplied to him. He received the final order. He participated in the hearing. In that eight petition, there is no single pleading. Kindly turn up to paragraph 10 at page 6, my lord. The order has been... Let, let, let my, I complete uh, my... Wait, yes. Please con complete your submission. Let the... the, 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 the uh, at first, my lord, the inspection report, my lord, I have been given inspection to my lord report. The, what is the area of land? Uh, but um, tell me whether this district engineer has the authority to pass the order or not. Isn't it to be uh, decided by the that was officer the to be engaged by the state? That was the direction of the Justice Shompa Sarkar. Honorable Justice Shompa Sarkar. Yes, upon the district, district engineer to treat the repetition. Yes. So in terms of this order, that has been done.
Right. And follow all the rules and regulations. Yes. And what my learned friend is submitting so far, the rule is concerned. He has not challenged the same. Oh, very that right. has been upheld by the division. Still, right. I said so. I said so. Not that challenge. Oh, one minute. Yes. That has not upheld. One so um, uh, the jurisdiction of the district engineer, the issue that you raise goes because the court directed. Yes. yes. Now, what is your submission? The uh, my submission, first submission, Malar, the is whether the uh, unauthorized construction is minor or major, uh, that has not been decided by the Malar, the the uh, the from the impun impunity, it has not been uh, at all Malar deflected. What what are what are the one term or extent of the deviation? So please read it. Yes, yes, Malar. Kindly have a look. the report of the assistant engineer states. On the, may, I, may I place the input order, my lord? The, yes. The, on the date of inspection, the petitioner S.K. Nijamuddin and respondent S.K. Uh, Altapuddin, both were present. In presence of the parties, the above, uh, above the said property was in, uh, identified and confirmed. Assistant engineer Howard Jela Poliso reported that there is an existing five-story residential flat which is under construction. Malad, I am uh, since Malad, I am uh, making the uh, objection Malad, since the uh, starting of the Malad construction. Malad, the uh, during my consideration of my representation, Malad, the uh, construction Malad, was mostly completed. That's why that is the reflection. But now the construction has been uh, construction has been stopped for the for so called notice dated 19th October 2022 issued by Howard Jalapur. The, the report of assistant India reveals that plinth area of the building is 102.94 square meter. Maladi in what in, in one quantum of land, Maladi granted the sanction, the 1.102.94 that has not been mentioned. Maladi in in terms of regulation by law, there is Maladi cover area, there is percentage of cover area. But how much how much residential building, how much cover? And, okay. and how much should be the open area? What, according to you, is the unauthorized construction? Unauthorized construction, Mala, there is no side of side open space. That cannot be. That, that cannot be the part of the. Where is your objection? Page 27, my lord. This is my 28 is the my lord, the main portion. Recently, a construction is being carried on by one Altabuddin, son of Sachin Saj, reside, uh, residing at Sachin Saj. On each side of my said flat, that is in respect of RS Dagnam was such and such, uh, by leaving no minimum up, uh, minimum upper side space. This is the my valor, the objection. Mm -hmm. Show me the bylaws.
चैप्टर फोर इज दी वाला जनरल प्रोसीड्यूर फॉर सैंक्शन ऑफ बिल्डिंग प्लान व्हाट इज दी रिक्वायर्ड स्पेस दैट इज टू बी मेंटेन्ड यस यस माला दैट इज माला देयर माला इन दी मींस देयर इज माला सेवरल माला दी गाइडलाइंस फॉर सेवरल टाइप ऑफ बिल्डिंग माला दी रूल 6 माला दिस इज रूल 6 माला दी इज दी मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट यस Uh, no person or person organization is entitled to erect any structure without the approval of jela parishad b malar the one third of the total area is to be kept vacant for the erection of any structure malar the whether malar unless malar the the total area has not been disclosed and malar the quantum malar only they are disclosing the sanction area mane uh, in what area they had sanction this area that can not be the ascertain whether one third area is is left, left open or not when is first first point then my lord the uh, in case of my lord the uh, open space in case of open space my lord the rule 9 my lord the uh, rule 9 is applicable in the present case my lord the since the construction is g plus four story building my lord see it's up to my lord the 4.5 uh, up to the one uh, 4.5 meter uh, height Malar the front open space residence in case of residential it's a admittedly it's a commercial building. Malar the front open space would be would be one point two. Residential house, not a commercial. Malar the the uh, the one point two meter is the malar front open space size open space. Where from do you say it's a commercial building? Malar the my allegation malar the the allegation is malar commercial building. Malar they are using the malar the commercial purpose. What is the commercial purpose? Malar the they are they are they are running business from the malar the ground floor of the uh, that building. Which business? Not yet completed. Which business? Uh, well, the, I have obtained more the information that they are running. No, the you have to say what type of business they are running over there. That is that, that is that is one of the indicated in the one of I have made, made allegation that they are using the uh, building as commercial purpose. Bold allegations will not do. You have to say what type of business Apart they are doing. Apart from that, one of the it's it's the residential building. Then one of the, then also one of the 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 uh, the uh, front open space would be uh, one meter, side open space would be the one point two meter, and one of rear open space, one of the would be three meter. One of the back portion, one that would be building would be the three meter. What is that, my lord? What is the, the that the the, uh, the the identification of the one of the uh, uh, disclosure of the, uh, the the construction area in the report? Then Malar comes the Malar area. Point point four meter to six meter on the western side, one meter on the front side and one point two meter on the rear side. Projection of point uh, seven meter throughout. Where is the provision for uh, relaxation? Rule fifteen, my lord. Rule fifteen. Then what are they? Come, what the eleven? See, they, 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 they That nothing has been disclosed in the report. But what the report? Let them show one or the the report has been circulated. But then um, there is a provision for retention for what regularization. That that, 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 that in, in that respect, I shall make submission. What is the their submission? The, the, in the one of the recent judgment of this honorable court, one of the uh, specifically one of the. Paul Malar, the in my learned friend was the uh, uh, present there. Malar, he was she, she was party there. Malar present there. Malar can't have a look. Malar the uh, has been declared under virus. No, 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 not under virus. Malar, in, in what extent, Malar? Regularization is permissible. Oh uh, yes, yes. Malar, I shall demonstrate that. Look, look, look. 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 Yes. Here also, one of the dispute between the parties, one of the both the one of in three appeals uh, uh, heard together analogously, and one of the uh, both of them one of the constructed one made in illegal construction, 
they are one of the jela uh, police one of the past uh, order one of the cup 29 last four lines it brings you at page 27 no one of the page 26 is one from the therefore one of the main main observation therefore the above one of the before that one of initially one of the facts of the cases were one of uh, discuss thereafter one of rules have been quoted one of the even one of as a panchayat rules or building rules everything has been quoted in the um, in the judgment uh, last proper uh, finally see page then, 27 miller paragraph 30 from paragraph 30 the, the 26 will be clear as they didn't uh, submitted any application application for regularization no they said the, therefore the above rule has laid down by the uh, by the provisions of regularization how hard be it many where, where are you reading one of the page 26 one of the top page 26 top yes my lord therefore the above rule has laid down the provisions of regularization how hard be it mentioned that whatever the intentions of the maker of howda jala Polishad by law 2005 b the same cannot be override the provisions of rule 17 can you mark it, mark it, my lord? The rule 17. Continue, continue. Read on, please read on. Uh, uh, the read uh, rule 17 read with the uh, content of form four of the West Bengal Panchayat Gram Panchayat Administration Rule 2004. In other words, the essential basic parameters of, uh, for proposed construction have been laid down in rule 17 and in contentions of rule four as aforesaid. And if such basic parameters are not maintained in constructing a building, Rule 15 of Bylaw 2005 will be a little help. Then the deviation, deviation in Rule 15 of Bylaw cannot include every type of deviation. Kindly mark it, my lord. This is the observation made by the division bench of the latest Bylaw 2000. 23 mm -hmm. every type of deviation including not keeping side open space here my lord the side open space has not been uh, maintained this is the my uh, uh, my main allegation side uh, side open space more ground coverage than permissible limit etc bylaw have little power to make in road into the provisions of tattoo or statutory rule from which the same uh, derive their authority in other words, the provisions of bylaw cannot militate against the rule to act under which they are framed. This is the observation for the next paragraph. Furthermore, the concept as made plan form in Haurajala Purishad bylaw is now, a, is now uh, one and the same is not found anywhere within the four corner of West Bengal Panchayat, Gram Panchayat administration rule. The appellant have argued in such a manner uh, that Rule 15 bylaw is a supplementary provision to Rule 17 of the Rule 2004, as aforesaid. In fact, bylaw 2005 have been enacted only to revise certain financial benefit for the uh, for the. Uh, Very well, I have followed. Yes, um, Mr. Shaharoy, what will be your submission? Well, my submission today there is a fresh cause of action. Why? After passing the order, my revised plan has been sanctioned. I have deposited the money. Yes. On the basis of that, I have raised construction. Yes. Started construction. So if he wants, he has to challenge such order because that has already been done. And final order has been passed after providing opportunity of hearing, after considering inspection in presence of all. In the repetition, there is no whisper that the copy has not been served to him. No allegation. And here, his only allegation cultivation. Kindly, kindly consider, my lord, if you want to kindly take up page 41. And the report also. In the Kindly come to page 41. 41. Third paragraph yes. of the literature. The report of the assistant engineer stated that there are cultivation projection of all four sites, ranging 0 0.05 meter and 0 0.6. So far, his side is concerned, this is only. And in the hearing, he has also submitted that my only allegation is the cultivation. Kindly see, my lord. This is the only objection he raised during the course of hearing. Also, he never said in the repetition that whatever I have submitted that has not been properly recorded. 
in the recognition no allegation that i have submitted it and the recording has not been done no but tell me the um, uh, report of the assistant engineer mentions about the cantilever projections on all four sides so there is infringement of the mandatory side open spaces right i know this is minor pilot so but... where from did the authority get to know whether this is minor major how apparently it is minor. minor apparently it is minor the division bench says apparent... you cannot change the entire thing division bench never says that you cannot exercise power under rule 15 division exercise power well, this but is then... a discretionary power very well even if assuming it is discretionary regulatory or whatever well, but then how did the authority assess that it is minor but well, they are the best authority they are the best authority as i understood building department but well, building no, no, committee certainly. is the build, it has been done by the building committee not by the board or not by the chairman it has been done by the building he is the they are the only competent authority we none can expertise the same and so far, his allegation is concerned. Kindly see, this is the only point zero five and point zero six. Hmm. I, according to my understanding, well, this is minor. At least so far, his allegation is concerned. From the report, it will be appeared that uh, during the course of hearing, he submitted that only in this regard. No further submission. Now my landed friend is saying so many things, but in that repetition, there is no whisper, no allegation in this regard. <laughs> And I have applied for revised plan prior to his coming the first repetition. Before filing the first repetition. Don't please do not make parallel submissions. But my application for revised plan has been submitted mm. before he came before the Sonapal court filing the first repetition. It is not the case that after filing the repetition, I to save me, I have filed my application for revision of plan. These are the only Deviation. Has any report been filed by the Jela Purishad? Nothing disclosed, one of the, the No, no, here in this matter. Yes, yes, one of that. I have one of the I have given experts exception to the one of the Yes, report. what does the report kindly have, a, kindly have a look uh, look through the report? No, uh, no disclosure. One of the area of land, not the uh, the uh, the open space, nothing. Well, kindly have a look the except uh, report. Report upon a file by one Manos Mondol. What he has stated. One of the only one of the uh, uh, copy paste of the one of the uh, portion of the copy paste of the one of the region. Uh, uh, my sanction plan is uh, not under come. challenge in the any region. Later, one of the disclosure, one of the copy of the report is one of the given circulated. Then I shall demonstrate further demonstration. The order passed by the district engineer Howard Jala Purishat, dated 5th June 2023, is impugned in the instant writ petition. Stop. It appears that now the petitioner alleges uh, illegal and unauthorized construction. At the behest of the private respondent, stop. Specific allegation is that the mandatory side open spaces have not been maintained by the private respondent at the time of raising construction. Stop. Next. From the uh, order impugned, it appears that the report of the assistant engineer was taken into consideration. Stop. The a spot inspection was conducted in the presence of all the parties. Stop. The report of the assistant engineer mentions that there are cantilever projections on all four sides. Stop. The private respondent applied for regularization of the uh, construction made and the prayer for regularization has been allowed by the Jela Purishad. Stop. Paragraph. The petitioner submits that the report of spot inspection as directed to be circulated by the order of the court dated 21st November 2022 
passed in WPA 21934 of 2022 has not been circulated till date. Stop. There is no pleading, my Paragraph. The petitioner argues that the regularization has been made by holding the same to be minor deviation, but the order does not specify the total area where the sanction has been made. And accordingly, the calculation of minor area could not have been arrived at by the said respondent. Paragraph. Learned advocate representing the private respondent submits that there is a fresh cause of action and the instant writ petition will not be maintainable at this stage. Stop. It has been submitted that the um, unauthorized construction, comma, if any, comma, has already been regularized. Relying on Rule 15 of the Howra Jela Parishad by rules, comma, 2005, as amended in 2019. And the building committee of the Howra Jela Parishad accepted the prayer of the private respondent prior to the petitioner approaching the court for relief. Stop. At this stage, the um, order of regularization no, not at this stage. As the order of regularization is not under challenge, accordingly, the order of the district engineer, Haura Jela Parishad, uh, cannot help the petitioner in seeking the relief as sought for. Stop. Next. Paragraph, it has been submitted that the construction, the unauthorized construction has already been regularized and as such there is no scope for challenging the same at this stage. Paragraph. Learned Advocate representing the Haura Jela Parishad submits that the building committee relying upon Rule 15 of the bylaws have already Regularize the unauthorized construction. Stop. Proper notice of inspection and hearing was given to the petitioner. Stop. The At the time of hearing, the petitioner did not raise the issue of non-supply of the spot inspection report. Stop. All points raised by the petitioner was duly considered. And final order has been passed on 5th of June 2023. Stop. There is no apparent error in the said order. And accordingly, the court ought not to interfere with the same. Paragraph. I have heard the submission made on behalf of all the parties. Stop. Next. The, uh, the court in the earlier writ petition filed by the petitioner directed the Haura Jela Parishad. Now directed the district engineer of the Haura Jela Parishad to consider the objection filed by the petitioner after conducting a spot inspection and after circulation of the report of spot inspection along with the sketch map paragraph. The petitioner submits that neither the sketch map nor the spot inspection report was circulated. Stop. Learned advocate representing the private respondent has produced before this court the spot inspection report along with the sketch map. Stop. Next. As the petitioner alleges that the same has not been circulated, accordingly, the uh, district engineer is directed to circulate the spot inspection report and the sketch map. Stop. The, uh, the unauthorized construction appears to have been regularized by the Building Committee of the Haura Jela Parishad, stop, paragraph, if upon perusal of the spot inspection report, it appears to the petitioner that the regularization was not permissible, comma, 
it will be open for the petitioner to apply before the appropriate forum for necessary relief. Stop. The read petition stands disposed of. Yes.
Jalpaiguri circuit bench item one. Looking for the petition, my lord. Yes. Lord, I have I have my lord, I have tried to serve the copy to the my lord. My lord, I have my lord, I have served the copy to the my lord at London advocate appearing for the my lord petition or in the uh, opposite party. For the uh, for the respondent in the uh, uh, court below, uh, court the high court miller, miller, they are refusing to accept the same miller. And, Who is uh, refusing I have, to accept? Miller, Hirak Bormon as well as Miller Bidasuti Bosch Miller. Those are appearing. Very good. You of... tell them to join online. Tell them to join online. I'm passing it over for the time being. Miller, can you do at 3 p.m. Miller? Not 3 p.m. In that case, uh, 4.25 p.m. Yes, your lordship. Yes, I am intimating him. Then. In this matter, well, I beg to appear for the minor petition. Yeah, so On the earlier occasion, your losses yeah. right. directed them to my lord. Uh, they have tested your losses order in the my lord appeal court. It is dismissed, my lord. Thereafter, my lord, the no answer of so cause notice was given, and no, if, no, no answer of so cause notice. My answer reply. to the so cause. All right. Okay. There is a reply. Copy not been served. No. Yes. Then it has, been, it has been served. Yes. Then. But the personal appearance, your lordship has not dispensed with. He has not. He is not present before your lordship. Uh, of your lordship has been complied with, mother. We have passed. Please it. use the microphone. And in the as per your lordship direction, mother, the chairman has passed a speaking order, and they have communicated the speaking order to my landed friend, mother. The order was passed on 22nd February 2022, my lord. After two years, my lord, the compliance... What is the reason for delay in complying the... Well, I, have, I have stated in my... What report. is there? What? Well, the main problem is, is, my lord, the chairman has taken the charge. At that point of time, my lord, tasked by landed advocate, my lord, he did not communicate anything. And he did not take any steps in respect of this position, my lord. That is why, my lord, they have changed the council and... Immediate after my lord engaged me, I have initiated to implement this order. And thereafter, they have passed a speaking order, my lord. I have explained the delay in respect of that, my lord, in the reply. And do you think this is a reasonable explanation? Lord, a plausible explanation? Lord, I say that unqualified apology on behalf of the chairman, my lord. It will not repeat it in future, my lord. I am giving undertaking, my lord. It will not be in order. When is the when was the order passed? Please show me the order. Order was passed on twenty second February two thousand twenty. Twenty second of June twenty twenty two. It was communicated. You say the learned advocate did not communicate. Well, he did not take any steps for implementation of this order. Who did not take? Lawyer did not take steps. Mother. Is the lawyer supposed to implement the order? But well, he has, did not guide the chairman properly. In he did not guide. The chairman is a kid. Send him to kindergarten school if the chairman is a kid. <laughs> Holding the post of the chairman and he requires guidance from the learned advocate. This is what your explanation is. Well, Two or three occasions, my client has been called for. Deliberately, it has been done. Yes. No, mother. It is not deliberately done, mother. I have explained in the reply to the Sokos. No, it's no explanation. And not only that, that... Where you have explained, please show me. Which portion have you explained? Paragraph 3, my lord. Paragraph 3. And my lord. Paragraph 6. And paragraph 8, my lord. 
and there is no such scheme in respect of composite upon it. Now your chairman will fall in trouble once again. What has he mentioned? He has shifted the responsibility upon the learned advocate. Where is the chairman? The last two occasions he was present before your last. Who? Oh, why is he not present today? Who told him not to appear? I did not tell anything, mother. That means he chosen himself not to appear. Who will but, take the responsibility now? Mother, last occasion, mother did not direct. In the last order, Lord can see. Did not direct. Was the personal appearance dispensed? We. Was the personal appearance Only dispensed? Mother has directed to five days for cause. Was the personal appearance but, dispensed? Yeah. What does this mean? It has not been dispensed with. It has not been dispensed? So that when the matter is taken up, the chairman ought to have been present? Yes, Why is he not present? Whose responsibility is this? Who gave the guide who gave the guidance to the chairman not to appear? Well, I have communicated, you have to he has to present. That means he is not uh, obeying what you are saying. Right? What should be done with such a person who does not listen to the learned advocate? Mara, do you not repeat in future, Mara? He has implemented this, your Lordship, Father, Mara. Repeat in future, provided he gets an opportunity. But, uh, Mara, there is some delay, but he has passed the raising order after. Please come. After communicating everything, Mara. Let him understand what things mean. They take quotes very lightly. Kindly pardon him, Mara, for the time being, Mara. For the time being. Will you pardon your client? He has not come to court today. What will you do? That is, I wanted to shift my responsibility because he is not obeying my instruction also. Not obeying? On earlier occasion, one so, time also, he has not come. Let him suffer the consequences. Right? But kindly, for the timing, do not he pass it. Time being? He is avoiding your lost system. Uh, Perusing the instruction. Peruse the reply to the show cause filed by the chairman Bodhavati Municipality. Stop. Paragraph. The order passed by the court. Uh, um, no. The court passed order on 26th of February 2022. Directing the chairman to consider the prayer of the petitioner for being engaged on permanent basis. Within a period of eight weeks from the date of communication of the order. Stop. The order was communicated to the chairman by the learned advocate representing the petitioner. Vide communication dated, dated 5th July 2022. But the order was passed on 22nd well, of June. 22nd of June 2022. Our communication is 5th of July 2022. Stop. Next. The order has been communicated. The order has been passed and communicated in February 2024. Stop paragraph. The chairman was directed to show cause and explain the reason for delay in complying the order of the court. Stop paragraph. In the show cause, the chairman has mentioned that the learned advocate who was engaged by the municipality did not communicate anything to the municipality as well as did not take any steps in proper manner. Stop. From the aforesaid Averment, it appears that the chairman, instead of admitting his fault, has tried to shift the responsibility for the delay upon the erstwhile learned advocate who represented the municipality. Stop. 
the chairman failed to appreciate that the order of the court was duly communicated by the learned advocate representing the petitioner on 5th July 2022. Stop. It was the duty of the chairman of the municipality to take steps in compliance of the court's order. Stop. The chairman deliberately failed to do so. Paragraph 8. What have you mentioned in paragraph 8? Paragraph 8, there is a gadget notification issued by the government of West Bengal. I am not looking into the merits of the matter. The court is sitting in contempt jurisdiction. Why will the court enter into the merits of the order that has been passed? What is the other reason uh, mentioned in your show cause explaining the delay? Is there any other ground? Well, repeated occasion, he has talked with the DADB, but they are not approving in respect of anything. They are saying... Is it mentioned anywhere that you took steps in compliance of the court's direction? In the reply also, my lord, in the so-called... In the show cause to the uh, uh, for giving explanation, you have gone to make submission on merits. There is a gadget notification, and you have annexed so many documents with it. For what purpose? Because the chairman is not the sole authority in respect of that one. I am sorry to say that you are also not guiding your client in the proper manner. But the main is. I am extremely DA. sorry to say. Uh, apart from the above reason, there is no other explanation mentioned in the show cause explaining the delay in complying the order passed by the court. Stop paragraph. The chairman ought to have uh, appreciated that when the court passed order fixing a time limit within which the compliance is required to be made, comma, the order ought to have been complied within the said time period. Stop. If there was any reason for not complying the order within this stipulated time period, comma, the chairman ought to have approached the court seeking extension of time for complying the court's order. Stop. The same has not been done. Stop. On the contrary, the chairman has tried to shrug off his responsibility and has tried to cast aspersion upon the learned advocate who represented the municipality before the writ court. Stop. Next. Paragraph, the uh, apology that has been sought for in the show cause appears to be mere lip service stuff. It does not appear that there is any remorse on the part of the contemnor in not complying the direction passed by the court within the stipulated time period. Stop. Next. The court is not inclined to accept the uh, explanation for the delay in complying the court's order. Stop. Next. Accordingly, the court directs the 
chairman of the municipality to deposit a sum of rupees 25,000 only with the divisional forest officer of the district of Hooghly within 12th April 2024 and to produce the receipt of payment before this court by, uh, not by, on 18th April 2024 when the matter will appear in the list under the heading to be mentioned. Stop. Next. The In the event the aforesaid amount is not paid, comma, then serious consequences would follow. Oh, you see that two loss, can you extend three? Achha, the, the, Next week, chuti, three days. Uh, day. uh, be it recorded that the chairman is not personally present in court. Stop. There is no direction upon the chairman dispensing with his personal appearance. Stop. The chairman is directed to remain present in court on 18th April 2024 at 10.30 a.m. Instead of 12 losses by 15, because three days are completed. 15th. 15th. Yes. Thirty. You are for the applicant, madam. Appellant. Applicant. Applicant. What is the application for? The content or application, madam. Petitioner. Yes. Unconditional, unqualified apology, madam, for not complying the course order, madam, in due time, madam. I am praying for madam seven days time, madam, to comply. That means but, uh, the order can be complied within seven days, but deliberately not complied with. Kindly permit me, Milad. No permission. I am heavily imposing cost. Let them pay. They earn a lot of money. Let them spend some money. Kindly allow me, Milad. For... This is resolution taken yesterday. Keep your resolution with you. Kindly have you, two minutes, sir. Two minutes, sir. What have you, Milad? They have misunderstood your losses. Yes. Misunderstood? Yeah, absolutely. Kindly see, Milad, your losses are personal order, Milad. Directing the Pradhan Mala to consider the representation to be filed by the petitioner regarding unauthorized construction. So what Milad, this Pradhan Mala assume charge Mala on Mala, I am telling you, Lord Mala, on 11th of August 2023. He became the Pradhan Mala on 11th of August 2023. But I am not, I am not. Uh, Are you representing the earlier Pradhan also? No, no, no. I am not representing. I am representing the new Pradhan. Hey, Milad, what he has done, Mala, I am the Lord Mala, can you see Mala, that uh, uh, resolution, Mala? Now, construction regarding unauthorized, unauthorized construction, now it has become a land dispute. My management client is saying that his land has been encroached by somebody else. Now, Pradhan has also Milad, take a, uh, took a resolution to that effect and Pradhan has appointed one Amin. Now, Amin will uh, take a uh, measure the land in question, thereafter Pradhan will proceed with the matter. I had a talk with the Pradhan and you have no business to that. Why did you enter into all this arena? The question is whether the unauthorized construction has been made or not. It he is said, as simple as simple this. As simple as this. That's why Milad, there is some misunderstanding. Milad. I am praying for seven days' time. Milad. I am giving an assurance to your Lord. It will be complied. Very well. Seven days' time is all right. Milad, but then... Can you text this uh, resolution? Whatever. It is for you to guide your client. Yes. It is not for the court Milad, to look into I'm all I'm these things. I am just on one thing. But so far as unauthorized construction is concerned, Milad, the permission was granted in the year 2012. I will just uh, requested him Milad, to decide this and decide the matter. No, but whatever thing... is to be done, the court is not. Yes, yes, yes. Not a... Kindly give me seven days time. I am praying for unconditional apology. Kindly give me seven days. And was there a direction for personal appearance? Yes, yes. Why, yes. Why was he not present in response to the rule? You speak to him. Let him not directly communicate with the court. For no reason, they contest the election, they hold the post, and they do not know what to do. They only know uh, and can see the color of the money. Yes. Apart from that, they know nothing. I... What does this person do? Inquire. What is his uh, occupation? <laughs> 
Nothing. Nothing. Common, common is their cultivation. Forget that. They do nothing. And this is the period for them to make money. It will go on till second. Yes. He was not present. I directed the police yes, I know that. to get hold of him. The police also. Milord, on that, if your Lord, Sip, your Lord, Sip, I would like to Milord, say something. Milord, uh, yes. Milord, uh, we have communicated to the Pradhan to come to, the, to attend the uh, your Lordship's court, Milord. We have ensured, Milord, but on that fateful day, Milord, there was a, an intelligence report that some agitation would be taken out. That's why, by the Adivasis, that's why, Milord, for preventing breach of peace, Milord, he was heavily engaged in advertising, Milord, he could not come before, she could come before a lordship's court. Wasn't it, wasn't it, it, it his duty to communicate lordship. that this is the reason? We have communicated it. Your you communicated to whom? Pradhan. You should have communicated to the court. Lordship, Milord, Lordship. How will the court know? Your lordship. Your communication with Pradhan his... and the police is an internal communication. That, that, the court does not that get to know about mistake, it. Lord. Lord, your lordship, not I would like mistake. to say something. He, this Milord is praise. an irresponsible behavior of he the police praise, officer. Milord, your lordship's forgiveness, Milord, unqualified and unconditional. Your lordship, I, I would like to say something, your lordship. Yes, please. It's quite relevant, lordship. Two to three times, I visited from Kolkata to, I, I traveled from Kolkata to Sobong, personally, with intent to communicate to the later, my lord. To whom? To the OC. He to the talked, OC. Yes, OC. OC completely harassed me. He kept me waiting for six to seven hours. I was starving, your lordship. And whenever I, I was leaving the police station, the other police personnel says, he is a, he is a um, um, hala, you know, neta. Unhi Supreme Court ko well, all wild allegations. Wild allegations. All wild allegations. I do not accept no, he can't this. Say that. Well, all I wild do not allegations. accept this. An advocate is making this allegation. Try to understand. This is not the client. Ad advocate has not listened. You to want the advocate. I told him. His client told client. him. I personally. I personally. He, he, says he personally went over there. I'll take his affidavit and put your officer to jail. Let him understand what things are. Lord, uh, I'll direct him to file an affidavit. If your police officer acts smart, the court is smarter than him. Lord, uh, he Lord, Mr. Mitro, there must be limit to everything. Lord, he prays you your lordship's forgiveness. Lord, forgiveness? Pray. Lordship, Lord. Is this the way he behaves with a learned advocate who has gone there to communicate the order of the court? And thrice this has happened? I'll take an affidavit from him and thereafter let him answer what is going to happen. Yes, what is the name of the police officer? Chanchal Singh. And which polit political leader will come to save him? I'll see. My officer says Lord, that Lord, that incident wasn't happened. That incident, the learned lawyer is lying. Well, he says. Lord, your, your police CCTV officer is lying. He is a liar. CCTV footages are there, Miller. That has CCTV been footages are there. Lord. And CCTV footages are placed in such a manner that these incidents are not recorded over there. Don't show me. I know how CCTV footages are maintained. Lordship. You should know Lordship. how much to open your mouth and where to open. Such and such. Officer in charge, Shabong Police Station. Is personally present in court. Stop. By order dated 29th of February 2024, the officer in charge was directed to ensure the presence of the Pradhan of the Gram Panchayat before this court on 21st March 2024. Stop. On 21st March 2024, neither the police officer nor the Pradhan was present. Stop. Next. Today, the police officer is present with the Pradhan of the Gram Panchayat. Stop. Next. Learned advocate representing the petitioner submits that he personally visited the police station on three occasions to communicate the order of the court. Stop. The officer in charge misbehaved with him and deliberately kept him waiting for nearly seven hours. Stop. Next. 
apart from the above there are other mm -hmm. allegations against the said police officer stop हुम Lord, your lordship, only records my statement. Lord, my client is denying and disputing these. I am allegations. not recording your statement. Your client will be entitled to file an opposition to whatever, talking, whatever he's got to say. He can file an affidavit. Let it be decided upon affidavits. Lord, only submission. Lord, Learned my client advocate. is denying and disputing these. Learned advocate uh, for the petitioner is directed to file an affidavit. disclosing the events which took place when he visited the shobong police station to communicate the order of the court stop let such affidavit be prepared and handed over to the learned advocate representing the officer in charge shobong police station in court today by 16th of april 2024 stop the police the concerned officer in charge police na concerned officer in charge will be at liberty to file exception to the said if it david by 24th april list on 25th of april stop next the uh, personal appearance of the officer in charge is dispensed for the time being stop next learned advocate representing the pradhan of the gram panchayat seeks time to comply the order passed by the court stop list on 25th april affidavit of compliance shall be circulated by 23rd april 2024 what about the earlier contemnar earlier pradhan where is he now छवि दत्त बोले दीछि राम नोबडी इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग छवि दत्त नोबडी इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग बिकॉज़ नोटिस हैज नॉट बीन सर्वड अपॉन हर पॉसिबिलिटी बट देन वेयर इज शी इट वाज इट सर्वड फर्स्ट टाइम एट द फर्स्ट टाइम इट वाज सर्वड वेयर वेयर इज शी नाउ She is staying in the house. Saying she, uh, she is staying at her house. Well, that's how many. She is staying in the house. The police is going to lift her up over here. अच्छा, uh, the the erstwhile pradhan, Chobi Dotto, was the person responsible to comply the order passed by the court. Stop. Let an affidavit be filed. by the erstwhile pradhan disclosing the reason for not complying the direction passed by the court stop next uh, let a copy of this order be communicated to the erstwhile pradhan stop the affidavit shall be prepared by mrs chobi dotto by 18th of april this resolution you can take it back but deep get but the personal appearance of the pradhan let him come the pradhan is directed to remain personally present in court on the next occasion for the police is dispensed for the time being but then he will be called here once again make him understand and if any further harassment is made then i will see what is to be done to him call the next matter la deep la bolaise let put yes sir 
order not complied order na ye copy sir they failed to appear my lord was please to issue the rule nobody is present now they are busy very much busy not served रीच प्लीज कम Well, extend the time for deposit of this. The contempt rule could not be served. Stop next. No, no, the no. rule is made returnable on ninth May twenty twenty four. Who is the contemptor? The pradhan. Pradhan. Acha. The petitioner is directed to deposit the special messenger cost forthwith. Hmm. How many? I am not sure. Okay. May I please all ask? Number thirty-three. I am for the contempt number. In this matter, my lord, I am appealing for the petitioner, since it was refused by the alleged contempt number. Your lordy was pleased to issue the rule. I don't know whether the alleged contempt. Who is the contempt number? My lord, the contempt number is the BDO Mondir Bazar. And he refused to accept. No, my lord. What has happened, my lord? In twenty twenty-three November, okay. he has been transferred to Bardhaman. Yes. So he was not there in the office at all. He has he is present. I, I asked him to be present. He has come. And he has complied to your lordship's order, my lord. Thoroughly, my lord. And is it within the time limit? Yes. Within the time. Yes. No, my lord. That is an I. I I'll show you, Lord Chief. I will. I'll, I'll show you, Lord Chief, man. Yes. Your Lordship's order is at page twenty-three, my lord. If your Lordship kindly comes to the order. Your Lordship's specific direction was. Uh, as it may I read, my lord. One minute, page twenty-three. Twenty. It starts from twenty-three. Relevant portion is twenty-four, my lord. Yes. As it appears that the representation praying for disbursing the dues of the petitioner is pending consideration at the end of the block development officer. It's simple order for consideration, nothing Absolutely, more. Absolutely, my lord. We have right. considered it within time. That With is at feet. that is at page thirty-nine. It starts from page thirty-nine, my lord. Fifth of December. Twenty twenty two, my lord. Yes. We have clarified, my lord, at page forty one. If your lordship finds there were five schemes of work, out of the five schemes, my lord, first two schemes we have paid certain amounts and we have approved the amounts which are to be paid by the prodhan. But suddenly, I I find that the prodhan is not made the party. Prodhan was to pay the entire thing. He is the disbursing officer, drawing disbursing officer, and the th uh, third, fourth, and fifth, my lord. those work orders were not proper and they didn't have the credentials and there also the pradhan has given out of their out of our own will and not taken permission no credential everything we have uh, i if you lordship uh, permits me my lord i shall hand over the entire scheme five one minute pradhan is the party my lord pradhan may be the party in the contempt contempt application he has not been made the party pradhan is the party my lord Arbitrarily, my lord, these work orders have been issued, uh, and the first two we have already given approval. Those amounts have not been paid by the prosan. It is not our fault. And so far as refusal is concerned, my lord, this person who was in Mandir Bazar was not there at the relevant point of time when this order was communicated. uh you you were aware of the communication made by the block development officer the reasoned order 
isn't it? Yes, yes. Page is forty onwards. My lord, my lord. Right. My lord. Now, if you are aggrieved, then you can always file a fresh writ petition. Okay. Why? Why? And that where is, is the contempt? That is true. I'm grateful. That is true, my lord. But thing is there, my lord. Uh, uh, concern video has purposefully uh, misled because, my lord, if your lordship, uh, my lord, uh, goes through my representation. No, no representation. Your Read petition, the representation that you annexed in the read petition. Uh, your lordship said that directed me to uh, send one representation, concerns representation filed by the petitioner. That is the representation. Uh, petition. Page, page, page 26 of my content application. Yes. Well, uh, the first paragraph, rupees 3,33,812. Uh, uh, it was released on 16th February 2021 and 2,98,679. It was on 16th February 2021. Those are of uh, different project, not uh, from my claim, entire claim. No, but the reason for non-payment has been mentioned possibly. In the reasoned order. In the reasoned order. If you are aggrieved, you can challenge the same. Please come. Huh? My lord, your lordship directed he is standing from 1030. I have not asked I have asked him not to leave the courtroom. No, no, it's all right. Uh, the petitioner alleges non compliance of the direction passed on 30th of August 2022. Stop. Paragraph by the said order, the block development officer was directed to consider and dispose of the representation filed by the petitioner within 12 weeks from the date of communication of the order. Stop. Paragraph. The petitioner in the contempt application has annexed the uh, reasoned order passed by the block development officer. 5-12-22. On 5th of December 2022. Stop. It appears that the reason for non-payment of the dues of the petitioner is clearly mentioned therein. Stop. Next. The petitioner appears to be aggrieved by the reason for not releasing the payment as prayed for. Stop. Paragraph. I am afraid that the court sitting in the contempt jurisdiction would not be the appropriate forum to decide upon the legality and validity of the order passed by the block development officer. Stop. It will be open for the petitioner to challenge the said order before the competent forum, if so advised. No further relief can be granted to the petitioner in the instant case. The contempt application stands disposed of. Contempt rule stands discharged. I'm grateful, Mala. I'm grateful. Actually, he is present. Please record that. Please give the uh, description. Yes. His name and designation so that it can be recorded. Sathya. He was personally present in court. Sathya. I am for the petition in this matter. I am for the petition in this matter. The petition was recalled that the complaint was filed. No matter the book was filed. But by the learned advocate and your lord, she was directed to file the podan to file evidence. Yes, Rakeshan. My lord directed to file an evidence of compliance as to in passing. Did you receive this? As to delay has been occurred due to in passing of the recent order. Lord, kindly see my lord. Did you give a copy? When? Now? Why? You affirmed it on 3rd of April. You could have given an advance copy to him. You could have served it on the day it was affirmed. There is a microphone. Please use it. After after receiving the notice of my lord rule. My lord, the Pradhan contacted the my lord Larnet advocate, and thereafter, my lord, on uh, yesterday, my lord, the Pradhan came to affirm this. Yeah, my lord, and you could have given a copy to the petitioner earlier. Why now? What is the reason mentioned? My lord, kindly see, my lord, that to cover the charge, my lord, page six, my lord. Vishwajit Saha, my lord, and on 10th, 8, 2023, to cover, and thereafter, my lord, 7, 8, 
বডি ওয়াজ ফর্মড অ্যাজ প্রধান মাইলট বিশ্বজিৎ সাহা রায়দিঘি গ্রামপঞ্জে রায়দিঘি অ্যান্ড দেয়ার আফটার চার্জ ওয়াজ টেকেন মাইল নেক্সট পেজ সেভেন হোয়াট ইজ দি অর্ডার প্রধান and reason order was passed 22nd january 2024 where is the reason order on previous occasion compliance filed by earlier on previous occasion to file the delay he was not appearing the lander has been ordered that is why you also have heard the mala issue the rule now you also kindly see the order dated 3rd of august 2022 and today we are on 2024 no but then he came in later on he came in in 2023 what could he do the earlier pradhan is not here now earlier pradhan i was not met the earlier pradhan is a content application against the earlier pradhan yes pobonjon moira and mali where you inquire from your client where is the earlier pradhan probhakar moira where is he where is he now raidi kiti hai where is the address take the address sub notice please come sub raidi address to the An affidavit has been filed by the present Pradhan of the Gram Panchayat disclosing that he took charge as Pradhan in August 2023 and thereafter uh, upon getting knowledge of the order passed by the court took steps for complying the same step. An affidavit of compliance has already been filed. on the earlier date stop next and the paragraph the order was passed by the court on 3rd august 2022 and the same was communicated to the pradhan in september 2022 stop next the erstwhile pradhan did not take any steps to comply the direction passed by the court stop let a notice be served upon the erstwhile pradhan uh, who shall file an affidavit before this court disclosing the reason for not complying the direction passed by the court stop next the affidavit shall be prepared and circulated by 19th of april list on 25th of april no, personal I'll... appearance of the present contemnor stands dispensed with for the time file, file it but you take the address of the erstwhile pradhan and serve same notice same at this village post police station or lai lai ji and there is no other address all are not the village post this is in the raidik area the village post and police station is raidik whatever you do it is for you to communicate communicate i shall communicate yes party five lord shri bank for the petitioner it's appearing for the first time violation of order dated 23rd july 2021 July 2021? Yes, Lord. First day's order. 23rd July 21, returnable on 9th of May 2024. Serve notice. Lord, sir. That is its left lordship and for the petitioner, same contemnor, same order, same order dated 23rd, well. 7, 2021. Same order. Okay. Okay. 
लोकल बारवाड़ी समिति they are registered they... i can understand the resistance but then if, um, if 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 it becomes fatal then the nobody no, would th- be there to blame no i think well they said um, i had to just now talk over there well they said uh, they are what at the house also a report has been filed before this court <clears throat> by the learned advocate representing the alleged contaminator stop it appears there from that some of the branches of the offending tree has been trimmed stop the authorities opined that the tree should be felled down completely as the same had uh worn out and the same could fall and cause accident stop but due to stop na comma but due to stiff resistance from the members of the locality only a few branches of the tree could be trimmed stop next the divisional forest officer nodia comma mushidabad division is directed to uh maintain regular watch over the tree to ensure that the same does not fall down and cause fatal ex- accident my lord my lord next if it appears in future that the tree cannot be saved comma then steps sh- should be taken to fell the tree in its entirety deep low pressure contempt application stands disposed of deep low deep low pressure deep low pressure well a new incumbent has been take take over charge of df for my lord Some whoever who... is there will my, take my, care my lord my lord i understand my deep low pressure your key for it may kindly be given to me very safe it have... there is no affidavit only a few communication with photographs are there nothing is there a huge mob i can see the photograph of the mob and everything that was clear man his client knows everything yes pillar 38 pillar perhaps this matter cannot be hard pillar this is that howrah jela parishad matter lord chief had yesterday uh, day before day yesterday, before yesterday. yesterday. Yes. contempt yes. application yes. go out of list with very well on the prayer of the learned advocate representing the because lord chief has sent for petitioner before the jela parishad on the prayer of the learned advocate representing the petitioner let the contempt application be delisted for the time being stop liberty to mention it is okay 38 ha ashona ki naam ki petitioner naam ki paanch paanch santo mai the but i am for the contempt not murder sir 
the initial your lot you already hold that is the deity of the content that is our dear chairman Subramana. Now the significant has taken a charge and your lot you have carried the deity. He has already made contact. He has actually noticed that mm. on that basis already. what has happened? Obtained a stay. Stay of from the learned civil court. All right, but then um, no, no, one minute. Uh, the, no, I have the. Please wait. When was the order supposed to be complied with? Oh, that the he he has paid rupees thirty thousand already. Where is Mr. Lolit Mahato? Did you uh, communicate this order to Mr. Mahato? No, no, report has he was supposed to submit a report. It is not here. <coughs> Get hold of Mr. Mahato, please. Yes, yeah, please call him. I'm passing it over. Please call him. Forty. Yes. Application in terms of your lordship salary. Please use the microphone. In terms of your lordship salary direction, I have deposited the cost for you. Yes. Restoration. Restoration application. Who is your other side? Lord, uh, I have served uh, again, my lord. Upon whom? Upon my lord, the um, GP office and the private respondent also. Please come. Private. <clears throat> The receipt showing payment in the office of the High Court Legal Services Committee on 28th March 2024 be written with the records. Stop. The order dated 25th of January 2023 stands recalled. Stop. The writ petition is restored to its original file and number. Stop. Can disposed. What is the matter about it? Uh, before my lord, the main matter starts, my lord, may I take your lordship's leave to amend the name appearing in the cost title? It's appearing as Moruja Ali. It should be Motuja, my lord. The T is missing, my lord. All right. My lord, uh, the main prayer in the writ petition, my lord, is that, my lord, uh, I uh, got a uh, work order to complete some projects in MG NREGA. Hmm. I completed that project, but the money has not still been disbursed. When did you complete? Not in 2019. 2019 is 20, the uh, bill that you raised. When did you complete the work? My Lord. Page 25. 18th of March 2021 letter written by Pradhan. Page 25. Page 25 of the main read petition, my lord. Yes. Work order of filling of, uh, of <clears throat> filling land with art that I have completed. Okay, I mean, show me your work order, please. My lord. Uh, page uh, the 21, my lord.
who is supposed to pay the video the video uh, but the uh, sdo man i suppose man page 25 is a request to the sdo for payment subdivision official mall प्रपर नेम शुड रीड एज M O R T U J A Ali stop paragraph the petitioner seeks for consideration of the representation filed before the block development officer praying for releasing the payment in terms of the work order issued in his favor vide memo number 112 slash krishnapur gp hyphen serial number 3 dated 12 june 2017 stop next none represents the respondents stop paragraph in the absence of the respondents the matter cannot be decided conclusively stop as it appears that the uh representation filed by the petitioner is pending consideration before the block development officer kaliya chok hyphen roman 3 accordingly the instant writ petition is disposed of by directing the respondent number 7 to consider and dispose uh of Mother, page 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 is 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 SDO, SDO. SDO representation is also pending. Let the video consider, then the then will will look into it. Mind. Ah. The representation filed by the petitioner in accordance with law and in terms of the work order issued in his favor at the earliest stop. an opportunity of hearing may be given to the petitioner to produce documents in support of his claim stop next the block development officer shall pass a reasoned order and communicate the same to the petitioner immediately thereafter stop if it appears that the claim of the petitioner is genuine comma the necessary consequential steps shall be taken in the matter stop the uh, block development officer shall take steps positively within a period of 4 months from the date of communication of this order stop learned advocate for the petitioner is directed to forward a copy of the work order comma the representation before the bdo and the documents in support of his claim to the aforesaid respondent at the time of communicating the order of the court it petition disposed अच्छा रेफरी विट ऑफ सर्विस भी टेकन ऑन रिकॉर्ड आई एम ग्रेटफुल मेक द करेक्शन माल मिस्टर महातो माल लॉर्ड यार आई हैव गॉट द माल लॉर्ड द द सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ प्रपोजल प्लीज Uh, please come the communication by the divisional forest officer purva mednipur forest division dated 11th march 2024 be retained with the records stop the dfo is directed to act in accordance with the plan as annexed with the said communication stop and utilization certificate shall be filed by the 
divisional forest officer before the registrar general of this court uh, by 31st of july 2024 stop the contempt application stands disposed of But after vacating the order again, I have to come to demolish the structure. What can be done? Only the remuner, only the cost. I think what is the purpose will be complete. The repetition at, at his own cost have come before the court. <laughs> 41. 41, Malad, I'm appearing for the contempt on the previous no, 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 no. file for uh, file an affidavit. That the Pradhan had tried to uh, send notices to both the parties, respondents, few of the respondents received it and the petitioner has refused to receive it. The endorsement is also annexed uh, with my affidavit. Now the petitioner... The order has not yet been complied with and let there be a direction. The petitioner uh, has refused to accept it. That is why it has not been complied with. Let, let it be adjourned for a month or... Eh, for a month. Why? For a month. And by this time, they, everything will be completed. Why are you not responding? If, if it is assured by the other side, obviously. The other side, uh, Malat kindly uh, sees the last annexure, which is the minutes of the meeting, which is annexure uh, R4, page 20 of my affidavit. This is the minutes of the meeting where few of the respondents have, uh, because the respondents are all family members. Now, few of the respondents have attended the meeting. The petition is not attended. Now, the meeting could not be conducted. Why properly. is the petition are not attending? And he has refused hearing? to uh, receive my notice as well. Twice. By hand, I had sent him once. He refused it. Next what day, is your client before. doing? No, no, I'm extremely sorry. To reply that he was not in a position to, uh, because he asked the uh, Pradhan whether the um, uh, permission has been granted by the uh, Panchayat authority or not. In reply, he was told, This this in reply. I have been reported. My Lord's order. This is the what? position. That is why he refused to accept. And yes, he will um, see. He will, we will see in uh, <coughs> He'll it. That is my last order was to conduct a meeting and thereafter go and see whether if there, there is an illegal construction or not. And if there is an illegal construction, the history steps will be taken. Learned advocate representing the petitioner will cooperate, obviously. Uh, alleged contaminant submits upon instruction that the order of the court could not be complied on account of non cooperation of the petitioner. Step next. Learned advocate representing the petitioner submits that his client will cooperate with the Pradhan for complying the order passed by the court. Stop. Next. The contempt application stands adjourned till 16th May 2024. Stop. The uh, alleged contemptor is directed to take steps to comply the order in the meantime and file fresh affidavit of compliance on the adjourned date with advanced copy to the learned advocate representing the petitioner. All right. Then I'll, I'll do this at you. Great. Can you allow me to move it in person? Yes. Has the order been complied? My Lord. No. My lord, order partly complied with my lord. Partly complied. My lord, kindly, my lord, allow some time, my lord, to, so that we comply the fully order, my lord. Why? Also, delay in complying court's order? There's no uh, intention, my lord, to disobey the order of the honor court, my lord. Kindly allow some time, my lord, so that we. September 2022 order. Now the chairman of the municipality will fall in trouble. We shall comply the order, my lord. 
Why have you not complied with? My lord, hearing has already been taken, my lord, and order when? was communicated to. Hearing was taken, my lord, and the order was communicated to the petitioner and also the private respondent also. It was found total deviation of the plan. In view of the report filed before this court, they have called for hearing. When was the order uh, communicated to the period, to the um, contemnor? When was the order communicated to the contemnor? 20th of September 2022 order. Uh, 30th September 2022. Uh, next. next page, 30th next. of September 2022. 2022 yes. The order was communicated. And then April 2022. Again, reminder. Yes, please. Mr. Bondobadhai, I give you time, but then I'll make sure no, that no. the I, uh, chairman is taken to no. task. Please come on the prayer of the learned advocate representing the municipality. Time to file the, no, time to comply the order. Stands extended. Now, Kiligun, on the prayer of the learned advocate representing the municipality, uh, the matter stands adjourned till 9th May 2024. Some, some, some more time. Today we are on 4th of April. 9th of May, you want some more time? Okay, <laughs> Is there, cost will increase. Vote, vote, vote. I do not know. Lord, I'll give you more time. My Lord knows. My Lord, vote is 13th there. 13th of June. 13th of June. 13th of June. Compliance. Every bit of compliance within 13th of June. Bolam to. Adjourn till 13th June 2024. Stop. And every bit of compliance shall be filed on the adjourned date with an advance copy to the petitioner. Achha, the affidavit shall disclose the reason for delay in complying the direction passed by the court. This is my affidavit of compliance, my lord. Who is for the petitioner? I am for the 43. petitioner. 43. To. You are for the petitioner? Yes. And you are filing the affidavit of compliance? My lord, I, on the last occasion, I was imposed a cost of rupees 2. All right. You are regarding the restoration, cost, my lord. Yes. Restoration. What is the matter about? Hmm. Yes, Lord. My Lord, uh, there was a deduction, my Lord, upon the corporation to for taking steps for implementation of order of the special officer building. That was the direction, my Lord. And uh, I, I should submit, my Lord, though it's not very relevant that no time limit was there. Yet, my Lord, uh, it's my instruction, my Lord, that uh, order was passed in April. Since May, my lord, uh, the uh, corporation took step, my lord, the uh, police was uh, intimated and a part demolition was done, my lord, insofar as unoccupied person, uh, uh, portion is concerned. So, uh, uh, who are the occupants in respect of the waste portions? They were given notice, they were requested to vacate, my lord. Since it was not vacated, my lord, it could not be done. So, Lord, will kindly peruse the report. And still could not be done. Yes, no, because my lord, unless and until my it, it could not be get, uh, uh, vacated by the corporation people. Your lords will appreciate my lord. And yes. what steps did the corporation take to get the place vacated? My lord, the uh, police was intimated. Your lordship kindly see. It is the last communication is to the my lord, uh, officer in charge. They are uh, my lord, uh, deputy commissioner of police. Everything is there. Very 
12th December 2022 is the order passed by the special officer. SOB, we are in April 2024. You still cannot comply the order and you say that the... Uh, it My Lord, is... unless and until your lords will appreciate the difficulty. My Lord, uh, unless and until... Uh, Mr. Speaking. Banerjee, will you please say, had the building collapsed in the meantime and some uh, people died, what would have happened? My Lord, the extent of construction is 500 something square feet. It's not a multi-storied building as such. Your Lord, can you see two floors measuring over 500 and odd. So you say no, no, that if I'm, I'm the deviated portion not, is less, not, then it is a, permissible. Not, not, not for a moment. Then? Not for a moment. I am not, neither it's supporting. Only thing I would say, Please uh, come. pray before my Lord that a little necessary direction be given upon the police. There was no direction upon the police. Let a direction be given upon them. You hide behind the police and the police hides be, uh, below the table. <laughs> this is what is happening. My Lord, it's not like that, my lord. The so far, the order of demolition passed by the special officer within bracket building on 12th December 2022 in respect of the unauthorized construction at premises number B by 6 by H by 4 by 1 Chamru Khansama Lane, what number 65? Under Boro 7 of the Kolkata Municipal Corporation is yet to be implemented. Stop paragraph. From the documents handed over to the court by the learned advocate representing the corporation, it appears that a demolition program was fixed. On 7, 17th July 2023 and 21st of August 2023. Stuff. Communication was made by the executive engineer within bracket civil to the officer in charge, Koraya Police Station, for vacating the portions occupied by. Uh, vacating the portions constructed unauthorizedly. Stop. Next. It has been submitted that as the portions are occupied, comma, the demolition program could not be carried out. Stop. Next. Paragraph. It is the duty of the in, uh, duty of the executive engineer of the uh, borough to ensure that the order of demolition is carried out. Otherwise, the uh, said order becomes futile. Stop. Next. The Deputy Commissioner of Police within bracket SED is directed to render all necessary help and assistance in vacating the portions constructed unauthorizedly so that the men and agents of the corporation can demolish the same. Stop. Next. The officer in charge, no. the executive engineer of the uh, borough is directed to intimate the date and time of demolition to the deputy commissioner of police mm -hmm. so that steps may be taken for vacating and for uh, demolition to be carried out simultaneously. Stop. Next. The notice of vacating and demolition shall be affixed at various conspicuous places of the subject premises to make the occupiers aware of the date 
and time of demolition stop next the petitioner is directed to communicate this order to the deputy commissioner of police sed eta kena pore deben age apni likhun je the receipt showing deposit of rupees 2000 only in the office of the high court legal services committee be retained with the records acha receipt dated 4th april 2024 be retained with the records stop the order dated 4th january 2024 stands recalled can disposed writ petition restored to its original file and number writ petition na contempt application restored to its original file and number ঠিক আছে an affidavit of compliance shall be filed by the executive engineer on the adjourned date list on 27th of june okay, <laughs> 27th june and may i take back those instructions why i, I have any copy if 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 my lord keeps it sorry. yes yes i'll keep it on record i am late by mr please yes get full man 27th june mala 44 i appear for the petition in mal yes lord chief there was an order to mutate my three properties my lord within a stipulated time alert but i the corporation my lord sent me a letter to submit the uh, documents required documents my lord i have submitted and my lord after that my lord that this assessment and mutation is pending my lord lord chief my case in short my property three properties my lord is attached let me see attached in lieu of the other uh, my lord corporation tax uh, outstanding tax of the building of the promoter my lord uh, my properties was transferred in the year 1990 1992 three properties my lord now in the contempt we are to see whether the order yes. has been complied my or lord. not my lord has it been complied my lord it has not been complied my lord my property has been attached my lord we are for two years my lord i am unable to open the property my lord one of my uh, office space, uh, space my lord which page is the order of the court my lord the page is my lord uh, 161 my lord My Lord, you, this is your Lordship's order, my Lord. Yes. My Lord, your Lordship confirmed the order of Honourable Justice Shobhushachi Bhattacharya. My Lord, which is at page, <clears throat> my Lord, one zero six. And Consideration of the application for mutation. Yes, my Lord. Passed by the court in twenty twenty two in such and such. The petition shall clearly indicate the fate of the application. Has the fate of the application been made, Lord? In fact, my Lord, the uh, the application has been considered. It has been, it has been, my Lord, formally approved and accepted. But my Lord, it also knows, my Lord, subject to payment of the proportional taxes. The my Lord, Mr. Sir, Shobhosha Ji, Bhattar Ji, Ji also, my Lord, passed an order that regarding that payment to be made. Therefore, my Lord, all that we are we are on the issue that if he, the apportionment has been made, my Lord, if he pays the amount. Three lakh nineteen thousand. Where is the communication? But that is the communication. I'm just. I. Uh, uh, it, uh, one letter is with me. I don't know whether they have received it or not. That is my order. But then you should have communicated to the petitioner. Otherwise, how will the petitioner know how much tax? My lord, the order was my lord apportionment of my property, which is my lord three hundred square feet, four hundred square feet, and my lord my that was my case that my property has been attached. It is not the issue here. That In is the question. Is the apportionment of taxes? The court has directed we have apportioned the taxes. He like uh, uh, total my lord the uh, valuation has been my lord uh, uh, made. One crore ninety ninety lakh thirty one thousand one hundred eighteen, as on May twenty twenty three. From that, my lord, that is for the other assessing number. That's right, but my lord, I have annexed that uh, document, my lord. From that, we have apportioned. My lord, entire tax of the uh, assessing number, my lord, whatever the, he has given, my lordship kindly comes to my lord page. Uh, is three one nine the apportioned amount? The apportioned amount, my lord, no. This is the apportionment, my, my, my lord. For the S S C number, lordship kindly sees 
for the Russell Estate Corporation, one one the SEC number is given. My SEC, my assessment has not yet been done, and uh, other the assessment, assessment, well, SEC number will be put as soon as well. He he gets it, the the payment is made, and he gets the document regarding the mutation. You see, it is then approved. Lots of this is then... been approved, subject to this. Law also says that like that. But then you are required to challenge this. What can be done? Well, the the this is one crore something. That is the outstanding dues of the entire building. As I know, that is, that is we are not on that. Why should I pay? One crore, I am you not. Are one, not supposed to pay one crore. You are liable to pay three one Malod, nine, three lakh nine. Yes, my lord, let's come, kindly come to the other uh, next annexure, my lord. Not only three lakhs, the other portion is one one crore something, my lord. You are not supposed to pay that. You are not, not supposed kindly, to pay. Kindly one come, crore. my lord. Only kindly <laughs> comes, my lord. At page, my lord, 173. Yes. 173, 174, my lord. I have three properties, my lord. Uh, uh, two, my lord, on 12th floor, 12 and 12 bleak. My lord, uh, kindly comes to 174, page yes. number. The assassin, my lord, 1 crore 90 lakhs I have to pay on account of my the other SSC number. My lord, the, my order was specific that my, uh, portion my my property and I am my lord ready to pay the uh, outstanding tax whatever page, tax. Page one seventy four. Yes, my lord mentions you that you are to pay. My lord, first one paragraph. Crore. Uh, How you, can it be one crore or one crore ninety lakh? lakhs, my lord? For the SSC number, like you clearly comes. No, no, one SSC number, my lord. I find from this letter. Okay. Seven by one, Anandita put the Shorani with SSC number, such as just this amount. If the referral portion is the one, one minute. Do you have a copy of the contempt? Contempt petition? Yes, yes. Please. please come to 173. Please come to 173. 174, 175. One, one minute, please. 173, this is the document that you I, handed just, over. Let me one look into <laughs> This is the document just now you handed over. Yes, See? Yes, my lord. Right? My lord. This is... The liability of the petitioner is 319. 319. Right. Come right. to the next page, please. The liability is 1 crore 73 lakh. How can that, that be? Is, that is, my lord, uh, I am to lord, then assert it. This is, my lord, yes. I find. That is, my lord, 1 crore 90, my lord. That is the other SSC number. No, the same, my lord, same SSC number. One, one SSC minute, number, one maybe. Please, please. This is there one building. One building. One building, then SSC number was one. Yes. Therefore, it is, my lord, subdivided, then different, different SSC number will be put. Yes. And accordingly, proportionate, my lord, share of taxes and apportionment of the validation to be made. Yes. But possibly, well, that has been done. Page 173 is 319. I can understand apportionment and, done. Uh, what about 174? Uh, that 170, 174. Same SSC uh, number. The same as right just a minute. Well, same as a cinema. Please check up. Well, I'll check it over. Right? I'll Lordship, kindly one more, my lad, one more submission. Well, I'm not submitting to Lashim, my lord. The portion, my lord, which I, I'll get also the calculation regarding the apportionment. And whatever the, so far as his part is concerned, my lord, if it is paid, of course, I had a talk with them. You give him, give her the amount, then only payment my can right, be made. So, so please you can, can make ma, known. Ma, ma, one more sub. Lordship kindly comes to my page 96. Yes, please. 96. this is this is the Malad notice. The where my lord Lordship kindly sees the SSC number. This is for the entire premises, seven by one Anandilal Puddha Sharani. And which Same. flats are you occupying? Well, I'm uh, occupying one uh, ground floor of uh, office premises. Where is that mentioned? Which is mentioned by all over, but I have annexed the document. And so so that Mr. Ghosh can take specific instruction. What is the liability that you are supposed yes, to my lord, discharge? That was my all through from, from the beginning. Give, my give, case give, the number. give the number, please. My lord, I have given everything. My lord, 12A, flat number 12A on the 12th floor and 12B on the 12th floor. And my nose, two flats. Two flats and one office premises on the ground floor, mezzanine floor, G1. G1. That is 300 square feet. Whatever and is the yes, yes, my lord. Well, page 96, Kali Lordship kind comes to this is the my lord, outstanding dues of the other SSC number. I uh, heard the submission made on behalf of both the parties. Stop. Learned advocate representing the corporation is directed to take instruction with regard to the uh, amount of tax which the petitioners are liable to pay. Tax, property tax. 
which the petitioners are liable to pay in respect of flat numbers 12A, 12B and office premises at the mezzanine floor, my lord. In the mezzanine floor being G1. Yes. Stop. Next. The uh, figures shall be made known to the learned advocate representing the petitioners by 12th of April. List on 16th April 2024 under the heading to be mentioned. My Lord. My Give the figures. My Lord. What is the lot I beg to appear for the petitioner? Petitioner? Yes. Second day lot of the on the earlier occasion the petitioner didn't appear. All right. The copy has not been served upon us. He didn't appear, so order could so, not be passed. I, I shall copy here and now I, I shall. No. You have to serve to the contemnor. Contemnor. And you can serve additional copy on her, but the copy has to be served upon the contemnor. Date of the order, please. 25-1-2023. 25th of January, 2023. 9th of May, returnable. Serve. Lord sir, I am for the alleged contemnant, Lord sir. Coffee, I, have taken, I have not taken the proper instruction from my client regarding the work procedure, but I have from him I have none that partly has been complied with the fonts. No, no, sir, complied with. Uh, I need some instruction from my client. I, what type of instruction? Uh, how much it is has been complied of, of the Zanet's court order? Lord, sir, the, the order has been passed and communicated, and this is the the copy may be kept on the record. Uh, you have given two copies. Is it the same thing? Loss. Same thing. Loss. There is a receipt copy for the. All right, the receipt copy. Please come. Uh, notice of the contempt application is yet to be served upon the alleged contemnor. Being the chairman of the Rajpur Shonarpur municipality. Stop. However, comma, learned advocate representing the alleged contemnor produces a copy of the reasoned order passed by the municipality. On 9th November 2023. Stop. The order was duly communicated to the petitioner. Stop. Next paragraph. As it appears that the uh, municipality considered the prayer of the petitioner and passed reasoned order. Accordingly, there is no requirement of proceeding with the contempt application any further. Stop. If the petitioner is aggrieved by the order passed by the municipality, comma, it will be open for the petitioner to challenge the same before the appropriate forum in accordance with law, if so advised, contempt disposed. The communication of the reasoned order 
I'm keeping this where his signature is there. Lord. Do you have a copy? No, Lord. That is that is the copy. I have two copies. I have. But, uh, in one, there is the signature of the petition, and in the other, there is no signature, signature is not there. It is one, Lord. So one. Recently, copy. well, make a photocopy of this and give. Lord. I'm going to photocopy it. No. The communication made by the municipality to the petitioner along with the reasoned order be written with the records. You make a photocopy of this. Prothom Patara Diedim Xerox Kora Diedim. Great. 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 Well, I appear for the petitioner in this matter. Yes. Well, it was a contested hearing. And ultimately, your Lord Shiva might recall, Mr. Milan Bhattacharya argued the matter for the municipality. Training qualification marks is required to be considered for the purpose of giving preference in the recruitment. Has the order that been complied? A, yes. For order has not been complied. Order was passed on 20th of July 22. Lord Shiva has clarified the order at page 45. 5th of August 22. 10th of August 22. Copy received. The receipt is at page 33. Till today, my Lord, the, uh, I have not been given any pre uh, appointment. I am the only trained candidate in the sales selection process. No appeal was... Your Lord Shiva's order has been complied with. How? But the interview was held on 22nd August 2022. Thereafter, Amalad, we have sent the name to the DLB for its approval. Now, DLB did not send back the file to us with due approval. Without the DLB's approval, we cannot proceed with the file any further. This is... You uh, file an affidavit of compliance so that the petitioner can get to know and take further steps in yes, the matter. Yes, yes, yes. That I'll do. Please come. Learned Advocate representing the alleged contemnor submits upon instruction that the order passed by the court has been complied with. Stop. Let affidavit of compliance be prepared and served upon the Learned Advocate representing the petitioner by 16th April, list on 18th April 2024 under the heading to be mentioned. Grateful to Lord Shiva. But every road service will be kept on record. We are commonly kept. 16th or 18th. Service is taken on record. I'm for the petition of my Yes. Lord Shiva directed to pass a reasoned order. That has not been passed. Order passed, but that is not reasoned order. Not reasoned order. Challenge it. Lord Shiva. Give me the order, please. Not no, we have found no, sanction. no sanction is there, but saying that I have not mentioned which position is unauthorized. They are still saying that it is unauthorized. Page two, bottom, my lord. Which portion does not require it says no sanction plan at all? Which portion, whatever, uh, please come. The order dated um, 15th. Now, the order dated 11th of January 2024 communicated to the petitioner with a communication dated 15th January 2024 is produced before this court. Stop. It appears therefrom that the said order was passed allegedly in uh, compliance of the direction passed by the court. Stop. The petitioner is aggrieved by the said order. Stop. It will be open for the petitioner to challenge the reasoned order before the appropriate forum in accordance with law if so advised there is no requirement of proceeding with the contempt application any further the same stands disposed of the order was communicated to the petition and lordship they have no sanction plan. Did you comply? It has complied? 
uh, this complied lot sir they have no sanction is plan the petitioner also, aware of the compliance well, i don't have any communication man. no communication that is the, the receipt lot sir this is the xerox copy lot sir tapan kumar mitra for jharna mitra in compliance of the honorary servant such uh, The petition occupied the building without any uh, completion certificate and CC certificate. Please come. Do you have a copy? Lots of, that is a Xerox copy. Please give a copy to him. Maybe the uh, petitioner has not communicated. Lots of petitioner has been communicated. Petitioner has, petitioner has, has not communicated to the learned advocate. Lots of, lots of because I can see the signature over here. Achha. Copy of the order dated 10th October 2023. Copy of the order now. Communication dated 10th October 2023. Address to the petitioners by the chairman of the municipality uh, containing the directions passed in compliance of the order passed by the court. In terms of that, is the petitioner has all... before this court. Petitioner has submitted all the papers and documents. If that is so, it has proceeded. What remains in the contempt? But the, there is a time limit that within eight weeks, everything has to be done, my lord. Yes. Did yes. you pay the money within eight weeks? There is no direction for paying anything, my lord. Mm. I have already paid the property tax. A copy of the efforts at communication has been handed over to the learned advocate for the petitioner in court today. Petitioners, stop. It will be open for the petitioners to take uh, consequential steps in response to the communication dated 10th October 2023. Stop. Next. There is no requirement of... Uh, now, as it appears that the order of the court has been substantially complied with, comma, there is no requirement of proceeding with the contempt application any further. Stop. Uh, it will be open for the petitioners to approach the court in the event the uh, municipality does not act in furtherance to the steps taken by the petitioners. Contempt disposed. I'll retain a copy. Yes. Yes. Do you have a copy on your of your own? I have handed over that copy. And what about the uh, signatures? Lots of uh, they have submitted that uh, they have uh, the response to that application, Lots of, and uh, they have no sanction otherwise, plans. Otherwise, you take a hey, Pradeep, return this and take the other one. Lots Give of, that because in future you may require the signatures. You, Mr. Nondi, you can give it and take a photocopy from your learned friend. Yes, yes. It will take it in. Yes. Your Lordship, I am for the petitioner. Yes. Item 50. Your Lordship, this is an application again uh, for non-compliance of the of your Lordship's uh, order dated 22nd of February 2023. If your Lordship kindly comes to page 27 of the application, the order has been annexed. And the relevant portion is at page 28, the first paragraph. You were not there when the matter was taken up for Unfortunately, unfortunately uh, you, uh, your Lordship, Please come. Well, uh, when the matter was taken up on the last occasion, I failed to appear with your Lordship and, and for that I duly apologize. 22nd February 2023, order served 9th of May, it's returnable. Serve notice. Lordship, Lordship. I am appearing on behalf of the petitioner, Madam. 
Malad, this is the matter. Malad, on 16th of September, Malad, your lordship passed an order. Has the order been complied? Malad, Malad no. Malad, in, the, in, right. in the sense, complied in the sense, Malad, three months time has been given. Okay. 12 weeks. Hearing was concluded, order was passed. But the uh, illegality portion, that is actually we are now tackling. Tackling the, now you We are now actually going to demolish it. We find okay. it that is the extra floors are there. We are actually taking steps. The only thing today is the second day misrepresented by the petitioner that he served the copy of the contempt and uh, previous occasion he uh, submitted before your court that that is the second day of the contempt application. That was uh, that is submitted by the petitioner. Whatever it may be, my lord, as September 22, my whatever it may be, my lord, your order passed on September. We passed the order on 13 November. Contempt application has not been served. I see. Pilot affidavit of services filed before your lordship on the last to your lordship. Prior to the and petitioner submitted that this is the second day when the petition was that. No, no. Pilot, it is already served. Suppression of fact, lawsuit here. The kindly lawsuit they allow the file they want recording application. Why will the court grant leave? The court will not grant leave. It is for you to do whatever you feel like. My lord, here is the my report, my lord, your lordship's kindly caution. My lord, may I submit one thing before your lordship? Uh, why don't you file it by way of an affidavit of compliance? My lord, that is compliance in the sense you are, I am actually showing your lordship's because... Let's keep it part is, compliance. It, is, it, is it compliance? Because your lordship's order within date, we have complied with. But after that, when the order is passed, that execution Malad. part of the order, that is my lord. Stop. My lord, we have never received any communication. Malad, moreover, six, uh, G plus 6 construction has been done. That, that is there, my lord, we, by my lord, for signature of the person concerned, that is deceased who, uh, before two years, my lord. This is the whole contention. And G plus 6 construction, that structure is still raising, uh, there, my lord. And till date, 16 September 2022, your lordship passed an order. Till date, my lord, not a single hearing has taken place. Not a that single you, hearing. No, my lord. I have never been called on by the KMC. And within three months, your lordship passed a strict order to co complete the proceedings, my lord. I can see the date of the hearing on 3rd of November 22. My lord, I have never been called on. My lord, the, the uh, concerned applicant is also before your lordship, my lord. Today present in the court. My lord, regarding the order part, my lord, uh, with deepest humility, my lord, that if he, if she is not served, my lord, that order has been passed in, his, in her favor, petitioner's favor. Hmm. Nothing can be improved because mm -hmm. if your losses mm -hmm. uh, go through the order. Mm -hmm. And now well, the execution part is I, I am giving right now the copy of the order. I, I think that is that will be not be disputed, my, my learned friend. And now the execution part is pending. If your losses want, I can give your losses that is compliance report. But that, that is the whole thing. Construction of five. From nine. Five. Previously, we have. Five. I am also. My lord, I, 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 my, that is technically, my lord, the order is complied with the deepest humility. But the part of the execution part, we are already, my lord, sent them notice. That's why they are appearing nine. from nine. That will be continuously demolished. But that is, <laughs> again, my lord, deepest humility. That is not covered by your lordship. Occupied. Yeah. That is occupied portion. The other things we are trying. Uh, you all, um, did you all fix any date of demolition? My lord, they, they, that is their... Six of the instruction, my lord. Today. From ninth onwards. Previously, you have also demolished, which is unoccupied. Ninth of April. Ninth of April. Please come. Peruse the instruction forwarded by the engineers of the corporation. Stop. It appears there from that the corporation... Uh, now that the special officer within bracket building considered the matter and has directed mm. demolition of the additional fly five floors constructed at premises number T9 by B, Palm Avenue, ward number 65, mm. borough 7 of the Kolkata Municipal Corporation within 30 days from the date of communication of the order, failing which the department will take steps for demolition and recover the cost from the person responsible. Yeah. Paragraph. Time to act in accordance with the said order of demolition expired long back. Stop. The person responsible failed to demolish the additional unauthorized floors stuff paragraph the corporation has
এপ্রিল <laughs> and the same will continue till completion na till demolition of the entire unauthorized construction paragraph the deputy commissioner of police Southeast Division. My Lord, may I submit one thing, My Lord? My Lord, uh, here their contention is there is a construction of five additional floors encroaching mandatory open spaces that they are declaring unauthorized. But My Lord, my contention is that the whole sanction plan has been taken by Fort Jury, My Lord. Fort Signature. The whole G, C, uh, G, uh, C, uh, G plus 6? G, G plus 6 uh, construction, My Lord. not only five floors yes uh, let us see let with the let the five floors be brought down we will go step by step only thing is page 7 your lord says that is I'll the second paragraph record my submission that lord. direction should be there my lord page 7 paragraph second paragraph lord. that is the police that is deputy commissioner of hmm. south east division ha is directed arrange for vacating the house is directed to uh, arrange for vacating the unauthorized portion of the building in terms of the request made by the executive engineer on 1st april 2024 stop next the uh, corporation is directed to uh, affix the notice for vacating and demolition of the subject premises at various conspicuous places of the said structure so that the occupants of the said building are made aware of the date of demolition stop next the occupiers are restrained from obstructing in the demolition program in any manner whatsoever stop next the demolition shall continue till completion of the entire na shall continue till the entire unauthorized construction is brought down the matter is directed to appear in the list once again on 25th of april 2024 alert if your lordship can kindly 25th Malad, if your lordship can kindly record my submission that Malad, uh, the report they have filed, they are saying over two-story thicker uh, sanctioned building plan, wide such and such dated. Malad, I am challenging the whole construction, Malad, the structure which is there. G plus 16. You give Arjari, a copy. Malad, you give a copy to her. Already, already. Already. Given? Malad, already. Malad. Learned advocate for the petitioner. uh is aggrieved by the order passed by the Special, Special Officer within bracket building on 14th of November 2022 uh, it has been submitted that the entire building is unauthorized as the as forgery was resorted to at the time of obtaining the sanctioned plan stop paragraph it will be open for the petitioner to challenge the order passed by the special officer within bracket building before the appropriate forum in accordance with law if so advised only only one thing my lord uh, one occasion your lord is extended a three months time for actually compliance your lord is some more time because five to my lord no 9th of april right. is the date for demolition i will continue it yes. your lord is actually uh, for september's order my lord 2022 matter. on 25th Let me see as to how many bricks you have pulled down. Thereafter, we will extend. I also want to see. That's good, my lord. After twenty fifth, 
first let the officers go and count how many bricks are brought down within this period Lordship. thereafter we will see Lordship. because there are five floors a report may be kept to you. report is certainly taken on record my lord that is direction i am grateful thank you Milad, I appear for the petition, Milad. Milad, your lordship order, Milad, is at page 26, Milad. Operating portion is at 27, Milad. Your lordship directed them... Is it for the first time? It is for the first time, Give Milad. me the date, please. Milad, the order, date of order. Milad, date of order is August 30, 2022. <laughs> lordship, Milad, pass this order, Milad. The order is at page 26. The operating portion is at page 27, Malad. Yes. The, the, the read petition is according to disposal by directing the administrator of... I see notices of hearing given. Thereafter, what happened? Thereafter, Malad, kindly take up, Malad, page 49 once, Malad. Yes, please. Malad, page 49, Malad, kindly see the extent of deviation. Malad, there are four floors sanctioned. The building is at present standing, Malad, with seven floors. Mm. And, Malad, the four floors, Malad, the total sanctioned area is... Uh, 1650 square square meter, which takes us to 17,000 square feet. Now, my lord, the constructed area is 4,620 square meter, which takes us to 49,815 square feet. My lord, the total, my lord, deviated area is 32,022 square feet. Where from are you getting these figures? My lord, uh, your lord, Page 49. 49 my lord, there is a chart. Yes. Now, Millard, the sanctioned area, Millard, to kindly see second Yes, column, yes, Millard. sanctioned area. Millard, at the bottom, Millard. 1653. Yes. Now, 1653 only for four floors. Only for four floors. G, five floors, Millard, G plus four. All right, Millard. five floors. Yes. Now, Millard, the third column, Millard, constructed area. Yes. Millard, the last figure takes us to 46,020. Not uh, thousand, uh, four, four thousand. 4,628 square meters. Yes. Which takes, Millard, it is square meter, Millard. Which takes us to 49,815 square feet. Yes. Now, my lord, the deviated area kindly see 20. Yes, I, I get it. Now, what has happened? My lord, the order of demolition is at, is at page 49, my lord, last order, my lord, for June 5th. Yes. My lord, the order was passed. It was not complied with. Now, my lord, your lordship will kindly come at page uh, 53, my lord. Page 53, again, my lord, the... Uh, municipality, my lord, directed, my lord, the persons responsible to take down the construction. <laughs> well, the, it is dated, my lord, June 22, 2023. Now, my lord, again, my lord. Uh, please come. Yes. The constructed area, my lord, is two times more. Peruse the order sheet passed by the administrator Bali municipality on 5th Millard, June one more thing, Millard, one more 2023. Thing. The incumbent has changed, my lord. 2023. Stop. It appears there from that. Achha, data Devenna. Data Devenna. In... Uh, orders passed by the administrator Bali municipality in compliance of the direction passed by this court on 30th August 2022. Stop paragraph. It appears that the municipality has come to a conclusive finding that there has been unauthorized construction to a massive extent and the deviated area is 2975.29 square meter. Stop. The construction has been made in the premises number 4 by 1, Ramlochon Shire Street, Post Office Belurmot, District Howrah. Stop. Paragraph. Let copy of the contempt application be served upon the Alleged contemnor. Contemnor, my lord. The SDO, my lord, the administrator, and my lord, the engineer, my lord. Page 7 and 8, my lord. Both the contemnors are named. 
quantum nerves. The matter is made returnable on 25th April 2024. Stop. Let uh, a copy of the contempt application be also served upon Mr. Oyun Banerjee, learned advocate who represents Bali municipality before this court. Paragraph. The uh, alleged contemners shall submit an affidavit before this court disclosing the steps taken to deal with the unauthorized construction that has been detected. Stop. Next. Leave granted to the advocate on record of the petitioner to implead the present incumbent. But the contempt number one has changed. Present incumbent of the um, um, present incumbent being the subdivisional officer, comma Havla Shadur and the administrator Bali municipality. Stop next. The contempt application shall be served upon the erstwhile as well as the present alleged contemnant number one. I'm for the petition of mine. And after communication of the order, several dates has been fixed for hearing of the same, but till date, the uh, application has not been disposed of. I tell you, Lord Shri Milad, what happened, Milad? The last uh, three dates were fixed. Uh, 7th February, 9th February, and on 28th March. Lord, the, on 28th March, Milad, an application has been made on behalf of the private respondent. Milad, uh, as of today, Milad, we have not seen the uh, sanction plan. They said that they have the sanction plan. Uh, we will produce it by, by seven days. Today is the seventh day, which uh, is expiring on 4th. Now, Milad, okay. we have uh, let it be kept on record. Milad, we have made it clear that if it is not clear, we will pass orders. Right. Uh, it appears from the submissions made on behalf of both the parties that hearing uh, is conducted by the Asansol Municipal Corporation, but final order is yet to be passed. Stop. Next. The contempt application stands adjourned till 2nd May 2024. An affidavit of compliance shall be filed on the adjourned date with an advance copy to the learned advocate representing the petitioner. 2nd May. I am for the petition. But in this matter, I am appearing for the municipal. May I talk to my learned friend? You know, the documents are not available in the municipality after the new chairman has taken over charge. You know, I requested my learned friend to supply me a copy of the REIT application of item numbers 54 to 56. And I will take instructions meanwhile. And 57 million. Neither the contempt application nor the read application is available. Uh, contempt application was received, Malad. Same day, Malad. I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Same day. order, Malad. You are she passed, Malad. I have communicated, Malad. Uh, please come, learned advocate representing the uh, municipality Program submits Program. upon instruction that the papers in connection with the instant proceeding is not readily available in the office of the municipality. Stop. There has been a change in the Chairman of the municipality and time has been sought for to comply the direction passed by the court. Stop. On such prayer, the contempt application stands adjourned till uh, 20th of June 2024. Stop. Let a copy of the writ application along with all annexures. No. Let a copy of all documents in connection with the instant proceeding be handed over to the learned advocate representing the municipality for compliance. 
ডে appearance for the respondent cannot be recorded oh. Has the order been complied? No. Partial compliance is there, Millard. Only a small hole on Millard. It is. It is there. I tell you, Lord Shiv, why it is so? Millard will kindly take the action taken report. Okay. This is the Millard. Photograph. As of today, it is standing. But two parts, Millard. All commercial activity has to be stopped, Millard. That is also going on. And the bottom, Millard, kindly see beauty parlor. And at the top. Lord. This is the hole. Yeah, the second is much bigger than the second is bigger. <laughs> oh. Lord, what has happened, Milad? The building is occupied. Milad will kindly take the action taken. Report, Milad. Date is mentioned, Milad. On twenty second, Milad. The officers have gone there to demolish. Now, my lord, when the process started, my lord, the officers faced some resistance, my lord, and they have denied to my lord vacate the thing. Thereafter, my lord, the occupants, my lord, that is the person responsible, one Punnima Roy, she has given a letter to the corporation praying for extension of time, and she has undertaken to self demolish the entire unauthorized construction. My lord, that this is the present scenario. The letter is my lord dated February twenty third. In the meantime, Milad, I have to increase the power of my glasses to read this. Milad, I am sorry, Milad. It is my my fault, Milad. Milad will kindly take my device to Milad. It's much brighter than the. Milad, she says, Milad, a month may be given to her to self demolish the portion. Well, that, that is also over. That is that has also been February, yes 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 absolutely Milad. In the meantime, Milad, we have written letters to the concerned officer in charge to give police assistance for Milad eviction because your lordship knows Milad unless and until the premises is vacated, Milad, we cannot Milad. Is the entire uh, building unauthorized? <laughs> Which portion is unauthorized? Milad, that Milad, I have to Milad. Milad, I have it. Please come. Milad, kindly see your lordship's order. It says the learned advocate representing the Bidanagar Municipal Corporation submits that the request had been sent made to the Deputy Commissioner of Police. Milad, at that point of time. That point of time, yes, yes, yes. Milad will take the Milad will kindly take the action taken report. Uh, kindly, time. Milad will take the action taken report. One Farzana Khanam, deputy as the executive magistrate, she was present there. Please, not magistrate. What magistrate? I wait. Look, na police ita shora hi nahi. 
An action taken report has been placed before this court by the learned advocate representing the alleged contemnor, signed by the assistant engineer and the executive engineer of the Vidhanagar Municipal Corporation on 27th of February 2024. Stop. It appears therefrom that a demolition program was initiated by the Vidhanagar Municipal Corporation on 23rd February 2024. Stop. A portion of the unauthorized construction was demolished. Stop. Thereafter, the person responsible submitted a request before the corporation seeking time to self-demolish the portions constructed unauthorizedly within 30 days. Stop. The 30 days period sought for causing the self-demolition has expired. Stop. Next. The corporation is accordingly directed to proceed with the demolition program at the earliest. Stop. The which police station will it be? It is Vidhanagar Millard South. The Commissioner of Police, Vidhanagar Police Commissionerate, is directed to uh, take steps for vacating the portions constructed unauthorizedly so that the men and agents of the corporation can demolish the same stuff. The date for vacating and demolition shall be uh, pasted at various consequent places in and around the subject property. Stop next. The Person responsible is restrained from interfering in any manner whatsoever at the time of implementation of the order of demolition. Stop. The contempt application stands adjourned till 20th of June 2024. An affidavit of compliance shall be filed on the adjourned date. The action taken report be written with the records. The Millard is the Millard uh, nature and extent of I have seen that. Take back the photographs yes. and you take back the legible copy that you handed over. Okay. First time contemporary yes. piece that is the physiological solid. Date? 13th of December 2023, 2022. Serve notice, it is returnable on 9th of May. But I appear for the petition on the last occasion. Your Lordship was pleased to direct us to serve notice of the contempt petition upon the alleged contemners served madam well uh, they have served uh, as the copy we have received it lots of inspection has been made also you know kindly come to the yeah. operative portion of your lordship's order at page 27 but my learned friend will Malad, this is a serious matter Malad, my learned friend will kindly allow me to place this matter Malad, kindly take your lordship's order of 24th of march yes this is after order after your lordship was not satisfied, that's the order at page 25. Mm. Because there, your lordship was pleased to record at the order at page 25, which is 30th of January, that the corporation said, filed a report saying that no further construction is going on. And I am the owner. Construction is going on in my property by third parties. 
now my lord your lordship says that the photograph belies that your lordship will see in middle of internal page 2 of the order of 30th january at page 26 mm -hmm. based on this your lordship called for a report and thereafter your lordship passed the order of 24th of march well, there are three parts of the order at page 28 internal page 2 of the order second paragraph starting with accordingly the court thinks it fit to direct the deputy commissioner of police because the local police was of no help eastern suburban division to keep a strict vigil over the subject property to ensure that no construction in any manner whatsoever is carried out at the subject premises till the matter is finally decided by the corporation we are pausing here for a moment till today unabated construction has been going on then my lord the executive engineer did you include the deputy commissioner as party in the contempt no my lord deputy Why? commissioner is not a party there is a direction upon the deputy commissioner you will not make him as a party should have been made uh, uh, it is all the corporation authorities are party it's only the executive engineer who has been made party none else yes. nobody else yes. The direction was upon the upon the deputy commissioner, commissioner as well as the executive engineer. Yes, absolutely. And uh, how yes. far has the construction been raised? Well, it is now, my lord, your lordship. We came at the repetition Plinth stage, level. column, plinth level, and columns were coming up. Yes. Now what they do is they come and do a cosmetic demolition. They break one column and go away, and they never come back again. And your lordship, that's why specifically indicated at paragraph 3 at page 28. How big is the construction now? Is it still at first, column level? No, my lord, the first floor I am told is already complete. First floor, that means ground is there. Ground is first... done and, 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 and. Well, this is of course upon instructions. But on instruction, lordship, with due regard to my learning friends, contents and I see, my lord. Though in writing, lord, I am waiting for the report. That is not a come. But over phone, I have con I have been confirmed that construction has was not been has not been made in the meantime. Number one, number two, demolition work was also done. But upon inspection, it is found that what was demolished to that extent, perhaps again construction has been made. So I said, you take the photograph, you take whatever step as per the law, you will have to take, comply the order, and come back. Now, to that extent, I am waiting for the report. And I, my lord, I have been instructed no further construction has been made. This is clear. Demolition, my lord's order was complied with because demolition was work was done. But subsequently, it is found some sort of column work might have been done. Then I have said specifically, watch it, see that your 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 uh, construction work and comply. What what the what the, the intention of the order has to come. Uh, please come. Only my lord, some more time to have a complete report. Leave granted to the advocate on record of the petitioner to implead the. Deputy Commissioner of Police, Eastern Suburban Division, right. as party respondent in the instant contempt application. Stop. Paragraph. The allegation of the petitioner is that despite unauthorized construction being detected and direction passed by the court upon the Deputy Commissioner of Police to keep strict vigil over the subject property to ensure that no construction takes place, comma, the persons responsible are continuing with the work of unauthorized construction. Stop paragraph. Learned advocate representing the executive engineer submits upon instruction that uh, part demolition of the unauthorized construction. Not part, it was done. Achha, Subsequently, that part that. demolition of the unauthorized construction took place, but thereafter, on inspection, it was found that the persons responsible reconstructed the portions which were demolished. Paragraph The Learned advocate for the corporation seeks time to take further instruction in the matter. Well, Stop. Next. On such prayer, the contempt application stands adjourned till 25th April 2024. Stop. An affidavit shall be placed before this court by the Deputy Commissioner of Police, Eastern Suburban Division 
and by the executive engineer of the executive engineer within bracket civil, civil. slash building department borrow three right. with regard to the steps taken for compliance of the direction passed by the court on 24th March 2023. Stop. The affidavits shall be circulated in advance to the learned advocate representing the petitioner. 25th of March, it my, is made, my, uh, my April, Lord, it is made returnable. My, my, would it be a lordship pleasure to give us an uh, indulgence of filing a supplementary affidavit to indicate uh, what is the present status? M month wise, we will give you a lordship from the it date will of your be lordship open order. for the petitioner to file supplementary affidavit annexing photographs yes. to show the stage of the construction. Yes. But you please implete the I, I, will, I will do that. I will do that. So Malad, that the affidavit uh, of service may be kept on. Yes, because uh, otherwise. And then, my lord, also, my lord, kindly give us the liberty that upon impediment, direction to serve. Yes, yes, you serve. Yes, kindly also. Jekane um, implete korte bolle. Shekane likhe din. Let a copy of the contempt application be served upon the added respondent. Contempt application along with the supplementary affidavit be served my, so that the photographs are I, there. My, I, I completely agree. The same to be Miller served upon us also. Miller came. Yes, yes, certainly. Supplementary will served, be served upon Let you. Lord, so 25th, Lord, say what 24th? 25th. 25th is a Thursday. Thursday. Very Contempt good. applications will be taken up on that Great. day. Great problems. 84, Miller, I mean, yes. For the contempt number one to be present for the contempt number. Who is the petition? I'm, not the, I'm the petition. The contemporary number two is present. The asked to help. One, one, two already ruled up and Malad entered appearance. Two already entered appearance. Is the Malad complex? Every day we have compliance. What was Malad long served? Why it was not complex? That was Malad the point. When was the order passed? Court's order is dated 26 July. 26 July 2022. 22. 22. Um, the contemnan number two took charge on which date? Two is the present one. No, I am the asteroid. Oh, you are the asteroid. You are the present one. When did you take charge? I am, I am sure. Who are the contemnas? The Pradhan? 22nd September 2023. 23? 23. Uh, yes, 23. Yeah. You took charge. And the uh, why did the erstwhile did not take steps? Malad, the erstwhile contemnar is a 77 years old person is? right now. 77 years old person right now. Malad, he was suffering from the several ailments. And but holding the some... post of Pradhan. Malad, he was unable to attend the Office also on regular basis, my lord. How much money did he collect by my staying lord. at home? My lord. Such. My lord, he is present, my lord. But Let him remain present. Why did he not comply the court's order? Lord, I do not want to know anything else. My lord, that is a uh, unintentional he, mistake, my lord. my lord. Suppose if the person is uh, physically unfit to act as Pradhan, why did he remain in the post? Well, in 2002, 22, he became ill. There has there are medical documents also. He is con continuously under medical supervision, my lord. So from 22 till 23, the election was held. The Pradhan could not do anything. Well, is this your contention? Well, the notices were served upon the secretary of the concerned panchayat, my lord. My lord, he was not even informed. The astral Pradhan. What is his occupation? What was his occupation? Retired uh, teacher, my lord. Teacher? Retired teacher. Of a school? On a high school. High school? That means he knows? He is a literate person. He knows what the order meant even thereafter. He but did not comply. Been informed by the office also, my lord. Office? Office of the uh, Pradhan also. He was not even informed 
about the uh, order which was communicated to the office but at the office the communication was made to the secretary my lord the secretary received the notices and he did not even inform the astral pradhan my lord but that is why he could one not minute. take steps one minute let me see page 25 uh, page 25 the letter is addressed to the pradhan and my lord 31 Page thirty one is the receipt. It has been received. Your client is making up stories. That is not the end of the matter, my lord. Page thirty two, my lord. The contempt notice was served on seventeen November. It was served on twenty four November. It was received. Mr. Gangopadhyay. Yes, my lord. My lord. Deliberate attempt to flout the court's order. Deliberate. My lord. This is not deliberate, my lord. Hundred percent deliberate. Can we allow him to make a make a uh, affidavit stating everything, my lord? What you will annex? Certain medical documents. My lord, these are all genuine documents, my lord. Why Nothing was he holding the post? He holds a statutory post, and you say for one year, more than one year, he was sick and is sick, and he could not comply the court's order, and the court is going to accept your contention. What are the orders meant for? What would have happened had you at, uh, appeared for the petitioner in this case? I Just think, my lord. I understand, my lord. You understand, my lord. I understand, my lord. Kindly consider this situation. Can it kindly consider the age also, my lord? I am humbly. At his age, he was so adventurous that he contested for the post of pradhan. Then the ailment was not there, isn't it? Well, what was so much? Uh, what, where was the honey for him to go uh, go and contest the election? What was his intention to stay back at home? Well, I understand. Certainly well, not so. Well, 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 so you understand well, everything. But well, this should not have been happened. Should well, not have happened, but has happened. So let him pay costs. And he is a retired teacher. He has got a good source of income. Let him file affidavit. And what wh what about the present one? Has the order been complied? Well, the affidavit of compliance, well, I am given to him. Yes, sir, sir, sir. Has the order been complied? No, my lord. Here no. Taken the decision, my lord. Uh, if you notice, can we come to page ten of the compliance report? My lord, uh, a decision appears to have taken. The decision appears to have my lord claims to have communicated. Uh, and my lord, seven days time was given for uh, uh, giving chance, my lord, to the. ground first how many ground floor single floor and my lord uh, uh, rti my lord uh, prior to sign of the decision rti my lord confirm there is no sanction uh, permission granted by the court thing is after the pradhan passes this order he cannot pass order of demolition as such it has to go to the sdo This has to be forwarded to the SDO. This order is bad. Anybody who challenges it will. Yes, I understand. They have hurriedly did it. My lord, inspector, to my lord, avoid multiplicity and all. Let my lord the contempt petition be kept pending. Let subsequent similar it it already expired yesterday. Let subsequent step be taken and my lord uh, inform me the court my lord what step subsequent step the my lord Pradhan has taken. Please come. Produce the affidavit of compliance filed by the present incumbent, that is the pradhan of the gram panchayat. Stop. It appears there from that unauthorized construction has been detected. Stop. Next, the pradhan is directed to forward all documents in connection with the proceeding in question to the. concerned sub divisional officer for taking necessary consequential steps in the matter acha paragraph the 
erstwhile pradhan of the gram panchayat is present in court stop the erstwhile pradhan is directed to file an affidavit explaining uh not explaining um giving reasons for not complying the direction passed by the court stop let such affidavit be prepared by 16th april and be circulated within the said date within the said date the matter is made returnable on 18th of april 2024 the erstwhile pradhan is directed to remain personally present in court because i want him to hear the cost that will be imposed that is the the government my lord will file any report my lord what step uh, he will file on the next day you forward and show documents that you have forwarded to the sto The item ninety is the one the first time. It will be the direct to my lord. My lord, uh, order date my lord fourth October two thousand twenty twenty three, and communication my lord. Uh, Wait, well, order date 2000. is fourth October. Item number ninety. Ninety. Likhen in Pradeep. Apni likhen in ekto kani. My lord, item number eighty eight. One minute. Ninety fourth October is the date. Apni check kore ne ban kintu, and it is returnable on the ninth of May. Item right, number eighty-eight, Milord, thirty-first July, twenty twenty-three, Milord, first time. Eighty-eight. Item number eighty-eight, Milord. Date thirty-first July, two thousand twenty-three, and communication made on eleventh of August, two thousand twenty-three. Thirty-first July, twenty-three, serve ninth returnable. Grateful. Milord, eighty-eight, Milord, twelfth July, twenty twenty-three, Milord, order for first date. Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. Grateful. Milord, I was given to understand. One minute. Sorry. Sixty-eight is with sixty-nine two separate matters. Sixty-nine is not my, uh, but then it is with. With lots of I have not mentioned and I have not taken into consideration. My matter is CPM contempt matter. That is sixty-eight. अच्छा sixty-eight टाइम ओनर लिखूँ तो. Date of the order, please. Twelve July twenty twenty-three. Twelve July twenty-three. Serve. Returnable on ninth of May. Great. Yes, Mr. Malakar was given to understand by Mr. Shudip to Panda that I am supposed to come here at four twenty-five for a um, Jalpai Guri matter. Yes, both high. Yes, you were supposed no. Yes, because he said that I did not accept the notice and I'm appearing for the state. Mr. Orijit Ghosh is online. I think. Yes, I am appearing for the petition. Yes, yes. Did you not accept the notice? But look, I I am not aware that any notice was served upon me. I have served. And it should be on the junior. junior. Why me, my lord? I have not served them, lord. The junior. There are two lawyers here in the state. He should give it to the other lawyer, and he has not given it to me. But look, he is not in the uh, last occasion. Me or lawship directed me to serve the copy appearing advocate appearing for the lord for the Vedasuti uh, Bosch and a Hirak Bhawan appearing in the deed petition. Your lawship directed me to serve the copy. Upon uh, the appearing for the advocate for the state miller, my learned senior friend was not directed to appear miller. He says you are not directed to appear. Why are you here? I was wondering. No, miller, I don't know because Mr. Directed it to you, Mr. Panda Shudip. So Panda said that you were there, and your law chief said that Mr. Bibhu you. Oh, he was not. He was not. Because of this hard name, there is one mistake. Because I was wondering, uh, Mr. A boss in the circuit bench. Wise, not you. And Mr. Banner said you go and stay there at four twenty. Why she is too you to be there? <laughs> there was no direction. I'm the sorry. court doesn't have the power to summon you. No, 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 mother. It is. It, I, I, I like coming here. It's not that. It's a privilege. It's something else. <laughs> But <laughs> summoning you in a contempt matter in this way. The no. court doesn't have the power. No, no, mother. No, no. It's just a privilege of mine to come and appear. Mother. Yes. Where is? Did you communicate to Mr. Bose? Yes, you know, she means they are appearing. What happened? They are appearing. Yes, Mr. Miss Be Bedasruti Bose. Okay, I'm separate. Miss uh, Miss Bose. I, I take your last year's leave, Malayan. Sure. Great. Yes. 
Lordship in this matter, no copy yet served to us, Lordship. Only Mr. Ghosh has served a uh, notice to us today, and uh, that is why we are uh, coming before the appearing before your Lordship. The submission of Mr. Ghosh was that you all are not accepting copy of the contempt. Lordship, no, they did not serve any copy to us, Lordship. No, at all. Not at all. Even in the LR office also, we have uh, asked to the copy. LR office. Please the accept the copy. There is an allegation upon the superintendent of police. It is only because the court did not intend to issue rule. That is the reason direction was passed to serve notice upon y'all who appeared in the writ petition. Now, if y'all refuse to accept copy, then the court will issue rule upon we this. Not, we never uh, uh, refused to accept the copy. Even he did Very not well. serve a copy to the LR Some. office, Lord Chief. Let him direct to uh, serve a copy to the LR office Some. and we will This is a contempt matter, so it will not go to the LR office. Direction is upon you. Please accept copy and then get it regularized. Yes, yes. We will ready to accept the copy. Yes. Because... Only he sent uh, send us a uh, notice through WhatsApp, Lordship. All right. I have saw, I have tried to summon They are not accepting. Now, now they are saying even uh, I Very have... well. Now they will accept. Learn it, advocate for the yeah, petitioner. No, never supplied. Only they have supplied the notice. Uh, is directed to serve copy of the contempt application upon Ms. Beda Sruti Bose, learned advocate, who is present online, along with uh, Mr. Mr. Hirok Ranjan Bormon. Hirok Bormon. Oh, Hirok Bormon. The um, superintendent of police shall file a report on the adjourned date. Stop. List on... Uh, 13th of June. Get full lordship. Get full lordship. Yes, personal appearance for the day stands dispensed. Take specific instruction. Because this is the um, general tendency. They do not understand. Then since he is a teacher, he ought to have understood what the court meant in the order. Ajke Juno dispensed will appear on the next date. 